Welcome to The Bump and what is shaping up to be the most chaotic SummerSlam week in WWE history. I'm Byron Saxton. And I'm Kayla Braxton. Less than a week before defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Cody Rhodes in a brand versus brand main event at SummerSlam, Roman Reigns shocked the world and surrendered his title. The head of the table said that he's been beating up Cody for years now and he has nothing more to prove. Now he's taking a sabbatical in Hollywood to show his cousin, The Rock, that he will be a bigger superstar there too. With SummerSlam in disarray and the draft set to begin the night after, Triple H called for a one-night WWE Universal title tournament with selections from the GMs of both Raw and SmackDown. Raw GM William Regal named Cody as Raw's first entrant and said he was confident the title would be coming to Raw. But SmackDown's brand new general manager, The Miz, didn't find this awesome. He called the attempt to take his WWE Universal Championship to Raw nothing short of theft. And The Miz is in it to win it for his brand. He's sending a team of killers to bring that title home. Let's take a look. Kayla, we know what Braun Strowman brings to a fight. AJ Styles is always a threat. If you ask me, though, KO is the man to beat in this whole tournament. He's been hungry for the opportunity. Reigns has left him here. That sounds like he was waiting for crumbs from Roman's table, Byron. William Regal's entries are no slouches. Finn Balor was the first Universal Champion. Much of the WWE Universe believes this is Gunter's time. And Cody Rhodes has been looking to finish the story for a while now. That last slot, though, Kayla, what is Regal's strategy there? William Regal still has one foot in developing young superstars. Raw's GM is going to make a match on the SummerSlam kickoff show for that last slot in the tournament. Your guy, Kevin Owens. I mean, I wouldn't call him my guy. Your guy is not going to know his opponent until the winner of that match, and neither will we. Don't blow yourself up, young man. You're apt to have a long night. Mr. Regal. Coming in early to help the ring crew, running the ropes while everyone else is still at the hotel, it makes an impression. Thanks. I do my best. Do you? What do you mean? Do you do your best? Apply yourself. You sound like my old math teacher. Well, you came to Raw more than a year ago now. And you've yet to make much of an impression. No titles, no great rivalries, a win-loss record with just enough victories to fly under the radar. Uh, great pep talk? Let me finish. I see your potential. The question is, if you're ready to fulfill it. I'm ready. Good. Because as you know, there's a tournament for the WWE Universal Championship tonight. The final slot for Raw will be decided in a match on the kickoff show. One of the combatants will be Dominic Mysterio. That young man has a future, a legacy, a name. The other competitor is you. Thank you, sir. So much. I'll bring my best. Good man. See you do. You're the long shot of this whole night, my boy. You're the dark horse. Beat the odds.
look who it is. If it isn't SummerSlam's Dark Horse. That nickname is sticking. Good times. Good times? Is Raw trying to steal SmackDown's WWE Universal title? Between us, what is Regal really up to? Um, giving me an opportunity to win the WWE Universal Championship? He put you in a qualifying match. You think that's some kind of vote of confidence? Come on, don't be naive. I'm not. What are you getting at? You know he has all his royal eggs in the Cody Rhodes basket. He's just trying to set the American Nepo baby up to win. I'll tell you what, the draft starts tomorrow. You beat Dominic, maybe I bring you over to SmackDown in the supplemental. We'll make a big announcement on social media. Oh, you'll post about me? For real? Why would you want me in the tournament instead of Dom anyway? Because I want the WWE Universal title on my show, where it belongs. And I am 100% sure KO will beat you. Coming to SmackDown? Man, that is a very generous offer and a wicked smart strategy, Miz. I just, and I don't want to overstep here, but I have just one little thing I'm bumping on. What's that? It's just that I would rather have my fingernails pulled out with needle nose pliers than ever work for an entitled, condescending reality show hack like you. I promise that you will regret that. Miz, this right now, this conversation, talking to you, that's what I regret. Oh, good. There you are. I'm Troy Simpkin, associate but soon-to-be full-fledged producer. Uh, Troy, we've met several times. You even borrowed my toothbrush once. <laughs> Ribbing you, bro! Anyway, just wanted to make sure you had the lay of the land. I mean, you're already booked tonight, but normally these situations are a good chance to check your social media, talk to other superstars, mess with your attire, all kinds of things. I've been on Raw for a while now. I know how these things work. Okay, fine. Just trying to be helpful. Thanks, but I need to focus on my match. Good idea, since the kickoff show is starting soon. Oh, and I wanted to let you know that we won't be needing you for anything after the match, so feel free to head back to the hotel. Why would I go back to the hotel? I expect to win and keep fighting. Of course you do. Well, good luck. One of these men will walk out of this qualifying match with a ticket to the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. And we know who it's going to be, Cole. Dirty Dominic Mysterio. He's a hard man who did hard time. Hard time? He spent one night in jail. Show little respect to Dominic's opponent. You really think this guy has got the stuff to follow in Roman Reigns' footsteps, Saxton? He's been called the Dark Horse for a reason. showing how well scouted they each are. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Oh, oh what a kick. Oof. Oh, what a kick. Oof. Catches an uppercut. Springboard into a... Are you kidding me? Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. Ducks through. Up and over. Celia Del Sol. Oh, Swanton. And Dominic's resolve might be wavering here. Dominic needs to reassert himself back in this match.
whipped back into the ring. Oh, looks like we're gonna see it for a sliced bread. Can that finish Dominic? Two. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, Scorpion Thumb Zero. We now know who will fill that final spot in the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. What a win. Impressive, but somehow he's going to have to find a way to string together three more victories before the night's over. KO, first round of the WWE Universal Title Tournament. Let's do this. Seriously? Are you literally the most desperate superstar on Raw? I'm just saying. Oh, KO, I'm so excited to fight you. What the hell have you ever done to even deserve being in the same room as the WWE Universal Championship? You want to know what I've done to get here? It was a rhetorical question. What you've done is take the opportunity to showcase your craft on the biggest stage in the world and flush it right down the toilet. You've been over on Raw for what, two years now? And most of the WWE Universe doesn't even know your name. All you are is some charity project for Regal. I'm nobody's project. Half right. You're definitely a nobody. See you out there. There he is. Great match with Dominic out there. Regal made the right call opening that last slot up. We're in the opposite bracket, but I'm kind of hoping you make it to the final. Real Cinderella story. Is that like some kind of reverse psychology mind game? Hell no. You make it to the final, I'm aiming to beat you just like I was going to beat Reigns. Is that right? Hope you make it to the finals with some nice, short, easy matches on the way. I want everyone to know I beat you at your best. That's the spirit. Good luck tonight, brother. Same to you. I'll see you in the main event in a few hours. There were not many people who expected KO's opponent to make it into the WWE Universal Championship Tournament, but here he is. What do you think is going through his mind right now? The jerk in the curtain at SummerSlam is as close to the undisputed WWE Universal title as he's ever going to get. KO's about to turn Cinderella back into a pumpkin. Pretty sure that's the carriage, Corey. The eye of my favorite, Kevin Owens, but we've already seen this man has brought his A-game tonight. Oh. He's got him scouted. <laughs> that uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. You solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Missed timing with that springboard. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. He's getting a little battered now. Owens at the mercy of his opponent. Owens needs to find an opening. Oh, a ah, kick. Nasty kick. And this one might be headed ringside. And now gets tossed into the ring. Ooh, great escape by Owens. Calf kick right on point. Boom, oh, what an uppercut. Jordan. Oh my God, the moonsault. Position now. Driven down face first. Ah, oh, had that well scouted. Owens into the ropes, but Kale holds on. Kick to the gut. Stunner! Stunner! This one's over. Why the heck would he do that? I'll tell you why, Saxton. Kevin Owens is making a statement. 
This statement could cost Owens the WWE Universal Championship. KO needs to take the W. He's wasting time. It's not a waste of time. Everyone in this tournament is watching, and they see KO beating a guy so bad he can't stand up. Is he setting him up for another stunner? Wait, small package. One, two, three. He got him. KO had it won, but his arrogance got the better of him. I don't buy it, Saxton. Let me see a replay. KO's taking it out on the referee. And another stunner for Owen. He might have won the match, but did this guy ever lose the war? Just a total meltdown from KO here tonight. And as a result of KO's meltdown, I'm not even sure his opponent's going to make it to his next match. I'm about to go live with a hit for the bump, and you are the guy everyone is talking about tonight. You got a quick sec? You got a bag of ice? Um, no. That is a bummer. But chatting with you is not. What do you want to know? You really came out of nowhere tonight with a couple of big wins that have you in the hunt for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. But I have to ask. Is your performance tonight a fluke? I'm sorry? A fluke? I don't mean any offense, it's just... Your record hasn't exactly been at the WWE Universal Championship level since you got here. What's the old saying, the times make the man? You're not wrong, Kayla. I've been finding my feet here in WWE. But when Regal gave me this opportunity, I was grateful because... There's something in the air tonight. Something I could feel when I walked in the building. No, I don't think people are looking at a fluke. I think they're looking at destiny. Bold words for a man about to face Braun Strowman. I guess we're about to find out if I'm right. I guess we are. Good luck out there. If you find a bag of ice... I'll keep an eye out. Guys, you are really beginning to see the wear and tear on the dark horse of the target. And despite the result, KO beat the hell out of him. And now he's walking into a fight with a genuine monster in Braun Strowman. The guy ought to turn around, take the count out loss, and call it a night. Not happening, Corey. We saw it with Dominic Mysterio on the kickoff show, and we saw it with Kevin Owens in our opening match tonight. This man will not quit. Damn. Oh my god, the moonsault! Ooh! Oh, what a kick! Strong counters from Strowman. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. He may be in a bad way. Picking up speed, building momentum. Trying to change the tides of the match. No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. A continuous attack on Strowman. Braun is being completely neutralized. Nice calf kick. Great elevation. <laughs> Running Hurricane Rana. Ooh. Strowman quickly moves. Caught in a bad position here. Inside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. <laughs> oh, he answers back on the monster. Running hard, Colorado. Beautiful. Able to give him the slip. Turns 
turns it around into a neck breaker. survived three matches and will advance to compete in the tournament finals against none other than Cody Rhodes. Just advancing as far as a huge accomplishment, but I'm sure the Dark Horse isn't satisfied yet. This is a setup, Regal. I take over as the general manager of SmackDown, and all of a sudden there's a tournament for my show's title with a bunch of Raw guys, and now two of them made it to the finals? Mizanin, surely you cannot believe that I somehow conspired with Roman Reigns to abdicate his title. Perhaps he simply didn't want to work with you. That is ridiculous. Roman loves me, and that's not the point. You and Triple H and all your little buddies skulking around to anoint Cody Rhodes, you set this up for Cody to face this guy. Hello again, Miz. I thought about your offer to come to SmackDown if I did okay against Dom and then lost to KO. I decided to beat him instead. Oh, and Braun too. Looks like I made the right choice including you in this tournament. Oh, look at the Mutual Admiration Society. Can you really not see what's going on here, kid? A qualifying match? Owens? Strowman? You're getting the hell kicked out of you so Regal can put his boy Cody on the throne. He is using you. Yeah, he is using me. To main event SummerSlam, Miz. I'm cool with it. Whatever. I'm done with both of you. You cannot get away with stealing the WWE Universal Championship from SmackDown, Regal. I believe I just have. Many believe that Cody Rhodes was a lock to win the WWE Universal Championship tonight. The dark horse of the tournament is the last man standing in his path. Things would be different if Roman Reigns hadn't walked away, but it sure does look like the WWE Universal title is in Rhodes' grasp. After all you've seen tonight, you're still counting this man out? There are only so many banana peels his opponents can slip up on, Saxton. Rhodes doesn't make mistakes. Working the midsection there. He's able to sidestep there. Running Hurricane Rana! Fantastic. I don't know if Cody can withstand much more of this. Cody's got to find a way to put his best foot forward here. Into the corner now. He's returning fire. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. You have to wonder if Cody Rhodes came into this tournament's final match overconfident. I don't think so, Corey. Cody's a veteran. At this point in his career, he's learned not to underestimate any of his opponents. Reversal. And the ref gets taken out. There it is. Cody hit the crossroads. No, the storm should be complete. That referee was right in the line of fire, Saxton. Cody sees it. Now check in on the official. You can see the frustration on his face. We got to get another referee down here. Spin for Roman Reigns. What the hell is Roman doing here? Cody is hurt, guys, and the official has no idea. I can't believe this. Roman was supposed to be off in Hollywood, but I guess he took a detour. Oh, no. What is Roman thinking? Reigns can't do this. No! Roman Reigns guaranteed that Cody Rhodes would not win the WWE Universal Championship, and the head of the table keeps his promises. No! Not like this! No! Yes, Cole! Yes! It's over! It's over!
it's over. This is incredible. Roman is the kingmaker. This is criminal. Criminally genius. Look at the smile on Roman's face. I can't believe how we got here. We have a new undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Undisputed? This guy doesn't even know where he is. Roman's actions here tonight will reverberate throughout the WWE Universe for a very long time. What a SummerSlam, and what a turn of events. It is an absolute crime the position that Roman Reigns has put you in. The cloud now hanging over your reign as WWE Universal Champion belies your effort. I know you fought like hell to win the title. You're damn right I did. I had to compete in an extra match too, and I still made it to the finals, and won. A fine achievement that the WWE Universe nonetheless looks askance at. Unfortunately, Reigns beat Cody as much as you did. Perhaps more. People think Cody would have won? Great. Tonight, we face each other again, one on one. I am ready to prove to you and the WWE Universe that I deserve to carry the title. Good lad. You can't let the world define you. You have to define yourself. And now, I'm going to define myself as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Love to hear it. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's a very busy night with the draft starting. Good luck. Cody, man, I was gonna give you a call, but figured we should talk in person. I don't blame you. I know you and Reigns weren't in on it together. He was trying to hurt me, not help you. I appreciate that. At the same time, we both know I had you beat when Reigns attacked me from behind. Is that what we know? One, two, three, four, five. And that's when I got up to check on the ref. I don't need the recap. I was there. And I have the championship to prove it. You took the crossroads. It was over. Look, you hung tough. Your time will come. But last night, you were done. It was a strategy. I knew the ref was down. Why would I waste my energy kicking out? Okay, sure. Right, pal? Seriously. While you were counting in your head, I was just chilling. Taking a break. You know, some me time. Well, I hope you saved up plenty of energy while you were looking up at the lights because you're gonna need it tonight. See you out there. With Roman Reigns back in Hollywood, we can finally settle the WWE Universal Championship controversy once and for all. Rhodes of the Dark Horse jockeying for position here. Stop! Stop the damn match! What is Miz doing out here? I said, stop this unsanctioned match. That's right, unsanctioned. I'm so sorry to ruin his lordship's plan. But Raw's Royal General Manager, William Regal, seems to have forgotten something. What is Miz talking about? Unsanctioned? Regal forgot that I had the first pick in the draft. So this conspiracy to steal the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for Raw ends tonight. He's not going to do this in the middle of his huge match, is he? 
the WWE Universal Champion has been drafted to SmackDown. Effective immediately. Miz can't do this. He just did, Saxton, and it's brilliant. Come on, get out of the ring and grab your bags. It's time to go to your new home. Cheer up, Rhodes. I'm sure Regal will give you another chance at the World Heavyweight Championship. Regal doesn't look happy. Speak of the devil. Have a look, Regal. All the I's are dotted and all the T's are crossed. That's what I thought. Now tell my WWE Universal Champion to get out of that ring and pack his bags. I'm afraid Mr. Mazanin is correct. This rematch is canceled. And the undisputed WWE Universal Champion is bound for SmackDown. A huge change in the geography of WWE has just taken place in the middle of this championship match. Good luck countering that move in the draft, Regal. Miz just told the whole Raw audience, you want excitement, you come to SmackDown. While a huge question mark continues to hang over the Dark Horse champion. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion has arrived at SmackDown. Without Regal and Reigns, this guy would be working at the concession stand. That's more than an exaggeration, Corey. He put on a show at SummerSlam, and I, for one, think SmackDown got a steal in the draft. Yeah, we'll see. Miz. Good to see you too, champ. Come on, what's with the boo-boo face when I'm the one who liberated you from his lordship? I didn't need liberating. Let's skip the pleasantries. You wanted the WWE Universal Champion on SmackDown. Here I am. What I wanted is the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The champion can be anyone who understands what it means to represent the most must-see sports entertainment show on Earth. You think you're that guy? What I think is that I'm my own man, and the WWE Universe will come along with me or they won't. I'm not doing dog and pony shows for anyone. You might be your own man, but you are playing in my sandbox, and you can play big, bad, counterfeit, stone cold all you want. But you will quickly realize you're just making your life harder. I've never been one for the easy way. Good. That's the perfect attitude for your very first SmackDown main event. Since you were so ready to face Cody Rhodes on Raw, I can only assume you are ready for Kevin Owens tonight. I beat KO in the tournament, and I will gladly beat him again. Excellent. And just a heads up, I might come see your match in person. You know, just an impartial observer to get a closer look at the champion I drafted. Absolutely no other reason at all. See you out there. The Miz is wasting no time with his new acquisition. We have a WWE Universal Championship match right here, right now, on SmackDown. I'm smelling a title change here. KO's a hard man to beat. He's even harder to beat twice. Not that he needs it with the title at stake, but Owens will definitely have some extra motivation after losing to the champ in the opening round at SummerSlam. And a beautiful swan time. He knows how to avoid contact. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show up. 
Oh, great. Our GM Miz is here to distract the Dark Horse. He's scouting his new champion. There's a difference. Okada will go for the win. There's her down. The champion into the cover. No, he kicks out. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Oh. KO is getting knocked around a bit. Owens is getting shut down at every turn. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Oh. Oh. Into a power bomb. That attack made it look like Owens might have picked too big of a fight. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Oof. Uh-oh. Incredible athleticism. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Ducks through. Up and over. Selena Del Sol. Saw that one coming. Is why they're the champ. KO getting rolled up here. And that will do it. Another flash win for the WWE Universal Champion. Wait, what is Miz doing? Interception by the champion. Talk about a backfire. And now KO's begging for mercy. Come on, this is unnecessary. Hey, come on. Chair to the gut. This is an all out assault. Our GM Miz was the one who introduced the chair in the first place. Maybe he thought the champ needed to take a seat after a tiresome match. We don't know. So how do you explain this? Miz looks like a kid caught with his hand in the cookie jar with that table. So much for being an impartial observer. Run, Miz. Get out of there. Looks like the champion might take advantage of that table Miz set up. Another backfire for our GM. He better not go through with this. And down through the table. Yes! Kevin Owens is absolutely laid out. Miz tried to involve himself in this match and managed to hoist himself by his own petard. The WWE Universal Champion has come to SmackDown, and he's making a statement to Miz, KO, in the entire WWE Universe. Yeah, well, take a look in the Miz's eyes, Cole. That champion's going to regret this. What the hell, Miz? Impartial observer? You were passing chairs, setting up tables. I'm surprised you didn't chuck a ladder at me for good measure. Turns out the situation called for a partial observer. It's what's best for the image of the brand. And that would be Kevin Owens? What does he have that I don't? KO's exciting, unpredictable. Yeah, he's a little rough around the edges, but Maurice has her stylist working on a makeover, and there's this amazing jacket being tailored. Look, the point is, KO has promised to be the Miz's undisputed WWE Universal Champion, and that's what matters. Believing a word KO tells you is your first mistake, and more importantly, I've beaten your poster boy twice now. Beaten him with a chair, put him through a table. You mentioned a ladder earlier. Well, let's go there. At Clash at the Castle, you will put the WWE Universal title on the line against KO in a TLC match. Fine. 
I'm going to walk into that match with my title, and I'll walk out with it, too. No, no, no. You will not walk in with the WWE Universal title because it will be hanging high above the ring, right where it belongs. Out of your reach. A lot's changed since the last time we spoke in an empty arena. Indeed. That night I gave you an opportunity, and you took full advantage. I guess. Most everyone in the WWE Universe thinks Roman Reigns won me the title and KO only beat himself to get me there. There will always be doubters. Every WWE Universal Champion will be in the shadow of Roman Reigns in one way or another. At least until someone can break the record with the title. Well, that's pretty much an impossible goal. Perhaps. My point is that you should take it a step at a time. You'll be the dark horse until one day you turn around and someone calls you the favorite. I think that might be a ways off. I'll just have to keep winning. A dominant victory over Owens tonight will go a long way towards answering that question in SmackDown's locker room, if not with its general manager. Miz can be a real tosser. <laughs> Quite right. But it seems to me that he has also given you an opportunity to prove he and the doubters wrong. That's what being a champion is, huh? A constant battle to prove you deserve your spot at the top of the card. Indeed it is, my boy. Indeed it is. As the undisputed WWE Universal Championship literally hangs in the balance, the fresh champion looks to prove himself again against Kevin Owens. Well, not just Kevin Owens, it's Kevin Owens plus tables, ladders, and chairs. I'm no mathematician, but that adds up to a bad night for the champ. Both of these men will leave with bruises tonight, but only one will be leaving with that championship. Great thinking to stop Owens. A running Hurricane Rana. That kind of agility is what earned them the title. Yikes. That ladder really won their bell. But he's still got to climb the ladder. That's the only way this match ends. Oh, drop kick. Oh, man. Oh, man. A little extra luster behind that kick.
It's been a long time since we've seen a champion of this caliber. Yeah, but without the title on the line here tonight, Cole, I don't think there's any reason for the champ to go all out. Most champions aren't known for phoning it in, Corey. I don't think this champ is any different. And he literally has a mountain in front of him in the form of Omos. Yeah, Corey, seven foot three Omos has easily been one of the most feared competitors since landing in the WWE. And for good reason. Just look at it. to the midsection. He went right into that turnbuckle. Not where you want to be right now. Oh, no. I mean, this is a massive amount of humanity. Perch from the second rope, now up to the top rope. No way! The ring is coming Knock out victory. This one is over. The stakes are higher than ever as Omos challenges the Dark Horse for the WWE Universal Championship. And we've got to be ready for anything after their last match brought the house and the ring down. I've been assured precautions have been taken, so one of these superstars will be the only thing taken down. A calculated attack here against Omos. Yeah, Omos has to plot a way to get back into this. Ooh. That'll cost some teeth. And that was an efficient form of offense for that move. The challenger eating up some damage. Springboard into a hurricane rana. That's amazing. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. And did you hear the impact of that? And now he's just being pushed around. He's got to reevaluate his approach at this point. Coming back in the ring. it more. This one is headed outside, guys. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dream. Good night. Retains the title. Here is your winner. And still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion Scorpion Sun Zero. Inconceivable. How does this guy keep beating the odds? I don't believe it. It sounds like he had money on his opponents or something. Start believing, Corey. A pretty impressive defense. Challengers might think twice before coming at him now. Hello, champ. I hope you'll forgive an old timer button in your business. But it seems you've got yourself an Irish storm brewing. Seamus has been telling everyone your reign is about finished. Now, my fighting days may be behind me, but there's no way I'd let a comment like that stand. I reckon you show that Irish warrior you're not close to finished in a finisher match. The anticipation is palpable as each competitor is already looking for that perfect moment to unleash their devastating finishing moves. If I were in the Dark Horse's shoes, I'd be praying to avoid the bro kick from Sheamus. 
Well, if the champ is in that ring praying, he's quickly going to be prey and yesterday's news. Ouch! And another counter. Able to elude it. Beautiful. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Oh, swan time. Oh, my God. counter into a dragon screw. Showing off their deadlifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. And he barely evades. And that was an effective attack, guys. Showing off the quickness, that'll turn things around in a hurry. And it's Sheamus who had to take some punishment that time. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Oh, he retaliates. WWE Universal Champion with another victory. Will you listen to the ovation from these ham and eggers? How can they love this guy so much? That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. Champ, apparently Tony D'Angelo thinks you cut in line at catering. Frankly, I hope you did. In my day, there were perks to being champion. Ugh, but this new generation of snowflakes thinks they've had their rights infringed upon if they've got to wait two minutes for a turkey burger. I'd love to see you take D'Angelo on and remind him of the hierarchy around here. Make it a chairs match, so he doesn't forget the champ doesn't just eat when he wants, he sits where he wants too. Hold on to your seats as this one gets underway. We'll see if this match lasts longer than a catering line for the champ. Allegedly. If the allegations are true, the Dark Horse should be ashamed. As WWE Universal Champion, he's supposed to set the example. He is. Why else would you want to be champion if not for the perks? Uh, glory, honor, and the best piece of prime rib. Oof. Can he capitalize? This is gonna be stiff. Back drop suplex. Oh, he knew what was coming. Saw that coming. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. And he's taking this to the outside now. Looking for something, anything under the ring. I guarantee you that chair is not going to be used as it was designed for. <laughs> what a right! And Tony just... Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Oh, D'Angelo anticipated that. To the outside. This could get wild. Short jabs to the rib cage. Those are agonizing. Placed it over into a suplex. Ah, yeah. uh, setting them up for a fisherman's buster. Great counter. Reversal after reversal, these two are ready for each other. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. What a barrage of stops. Oh man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Comes back into the ring. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. Oh, getting smacked in the head with a chair. Oh, God. He saw that one coming.
Uh-oh, this is going to be nasty. There's the power into the... Driven down with a jackhammer. Looking for the victory. There's two. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner, Scorpion. Well, if it isn't the champ. This is a fun surprise. They didn't tell you I was coming? Huh. Anyway, just down to do the honors and cut the ribbon on the new Dark Horse ring. The what now? The ring you're naming after me. To inspire the recruits. To do what? <laughs> Get ridiculously swollen heads? I mean, why stop at a ring? Maybe we should rename WrestleMania Dark Horses Wrestling Rodeo. Uh, okay. I think there's been a bit of a mix-up. Yeah. Last I checked, one lucky win doesn't make you wrestling royalty, even if it did happen in a title match. Lucky? You're saying I got lucky? I'm saying you've spent the majority of your time here as a mid-tier superstar. I'm gonna base my opinion of you on that. Not the five minutes you've been champion. No one's taken the title off me yet. Oh, between the parking lot and here? Wow, impressive. I'm not hiding from anybody. Maybe you should. Your luck could run out just as fast as Fortune smiled on you. I mean, no offense, but I'm training guys here who could give you a run for your money. Pick your best one and have them meet me in the ring. Sure. I just hope you can find it without your name being on it.
Hey, when did you get in? This morning. Now, care to explain why I just flew down to Florida to embarrass myself and convince a whole class of trainees that I have an ego bigger than your bosses? Uh, apparently, the WWE social media account got hacked and reached out to various superstars via DM, you being one of them. It's a massive disaster. We've all got to start using this two-factor authentication stuff. There's an app and a little dongle thing I've got to plug into my computer. I have to change my password now because Troy Demand 1996 doesn't have symbols in it or something. And you have a champion who got embarrassed by fake messages. Remember? How could I forget? You're the one who got us into this whole mess. You're blaming me for this? No, but kind of. I mean, do you give money to every Nigerian prince who slides into your DMs? You should have smelled something fishy there. And now everybody in the company, including me, has to go through all this hassle just because you were too gullible to realize you were getting matfished. The messages came from the official WWE account. Yeah. And it's a good thing they didn't ask you to pay for your travel by sending in random gift cards. Look, you're not the first wrestler to do something remarkably stupid. But when Seth Rollins got himself sprayed in the face with green slime, it really only affected him and a couple people in janitorial. You basically sprayed the entire company in the face with green slime. So don't be surprised if you're not everyone's favorite champion right now. Great. Thanks, Troy. You're welcome. And before you leave today, make sure to pick up that dongle. There is no title, but a lot of pride on the line as the Dark Horse looks for redemption tonight against digital trickster J.D. McDonough. McDonough doesn't seem like he knows how to set the clock on his microwave, let alone pull off a sophisticated internet scam. It's not hard to send a DM, but it really shouldn't be that easy to fall for one either. The Dark Horse better hope he can do something in the ring to make us forget his stupidity outside of it. Ouch! Pretty drop kick. And that will begin to test McDonough's composure. That is a power-packed punch. Oh, solid form. Consecutive attacks keeping McDonough off his game. JD's got to find his spot and take advantage. Great reaction from JD. McDonough hoping to start a rush of his own with that attack. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. So some might call that showing off. But what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Spear! That's gotta be it. Two! And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Scorpion Zero. The Dark Horse is on a roll. For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. McDonough can't let this loss get him down, though. Even though things didn't go his way, he came in prepared and dangerous. And as vindictive as he can be, we know this isn't the end.
Well, 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 all hail the conquering hero. <sighs> Troy, what's got you so excited? Other than I finally got that promotion to producer, probably the fact that your stock is on the rise too. The response to your TLC match with KO was off the charts, and you've been on a roll ever since. I know my boss Miz has been taking notice. Okay, so what do you and Miz have for me tonight? Network sweeps are coming up, so we need to pop a big rating. And with your newfound popularity around the office, Miz has something very special planned for his undisputed WWE Universal Champion. That is the kind of cryptic answer that makes me uneasy. And when I'm uneasy, I get on edge. And when I'm on edge, that makes me want to go out there and create some chaos. Do you want me to create some chaos, Troy? Yes! That's exactly the kind of programming we want during sweeps. So head out to the ring, and we'll get to see how your chaos and Mrs. Big Surprise play out. Troy, I will head to the ring. And I don't care what Miz has up his sleeve. I'm going to tell your boss exactly what I think of him, and his big plan for sweeps. Great! Sounds like raiding. According to backstage sources, the Miz has something special planned for the WWE Universal Champion. That Miz is willing to let bygones be bygones after all this guy has done is honestly inspiring. What a leader. I haven't been on SmackDown very long. But if there's one thing I've learned, it's that when our GM has a must-see announcement, it's generally bad news for me. So Miz, I'm not gonna sit back and wait for you to try to pull one over on me. Whatever big surprise you have planned, I'm ready for it. Right now. Gotta admire the champion trying to do things on his own terms. Come on, Miz. What do you got? If Miz was expecting to intimidate him, doesn't seem to be working. Hellfire and Brimstone! It's Kane! Talk about a big surprise! It's the big red machine! But where is he? Kane is in the ring! With a huge right hand! Kane's got him by the throat! Oh no! Say goodnight, champ! Low blow! champion where the heck is he going when you're on the defensive against Kane anything goes and you can see it in his eyes devious sadistic intentions on Kane's mind here tonight you just have to imagine that this match won't be pretty considering Kane's track record I don't think pretty is a word anyone has ever used to describe anything about Kane actually you're probably right on that Corey but don't let Kane hear you say it well, there's a tough test across the ring, and it's got championship gold draped all over it. Always a different kind of match when you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a title holder. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Oh, my God, a steel chair! Oh, the chair projected right to their face. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? With the Irish whip. Chain reverses it. Oh my goodness, did you hear the ring steps? They heard that in Syracuse. Stop trying to suck up the coal, Saxton. This has to stop. The WWE Universal Champion needs medical attention. No, not this. Not the choke slam on the steel steps. Straight to hell, champ. This is horrific. It serves him right. He said he was ready for whatever Miz had planned. That kind of hubris has consequences. Speaking of consequences, you have to wonder if The Miz understands the ramifications of what he's unleashed. I don't think he does. The Big Red Machine has his demented eyes set on becoming the next WWE Universal Champion. Buckle up. This is going to be one a hell of a ride.
Uh, hey Dom, what's up? I know things started out rough between us going for the WWE Universal title. It was dog eat dog, but I get it, cause it was just like that in the yard back when I was in the joint. I, uh, sure thing man, water under the bridge. This thing Miz has going on with you and Kane, it ain't right. But I think I might know a way you can take care of that big red freak. I am definitely open to some advice. Especially since I hear Miz is going to announce a title match against Kane. Glad you're willing to listen, but not here. Miz has got stooges creeping everywhere. You want my help with Kane? Meet me out in the parking lot. I'll keep that in mind. Lita actually offered to help me out too. Seems like you gotta make a choice then. Get help from Kane's old flame, or fight fire with real fire. Me. I appreciate you, Dom, but Kane and Lita have history. I'm gonna see what she has in mind. Suit yourself. But just remember, when Kane beats you down and takes your title, you could have prevented it. Too bad. Lita, I appreciate you helping me out against Kane. Why are we going to Mexico? What does this have to do with anything? Listen, I got my start in Mexico, and I ended up wrestling in some pretty out-of-the-way places. Dark, dangerous places. Okay... So long before I came to WWE and met Kane, I encountered a similar monster out in the jungles of Lacondon. They called him La Llama Roja, or the Red Flame. Are you messing with me? Not at all. I made some calls that I found him. So we're going to Mexico because if you can survive the flame, you might be able to defeat my dear ex-husband. That sounds like a pretty big if. Great risks, greater rewards. Come on, let's go on an adventure, kid. The red flame was everything you said, Lita. My whole body is basically a bruise. La Yalmaroja is a legend, a monster. And as rough as you're feeling right now, <sighs> yeah. It's gonna be worse with Kane, especially now that it's a casket match. Can't wait. If you beat Kane at his own game, it'll go a long way to earn the respect of the WWE Universe. And now you know the kind of effort it's gonna take to do it. It'll take everything I got. And then some. Which is why when grit and determination aren't enough to put Kane in a casket, 
Maybe you use a little something extra. Such as? Check your bag when you get to SmackDown. When you use them, tell Kane his ex says hello. No matter how many times I've seen a casket match, they still make me feel a little uneasy. Could you imagine being trapped in one of those? Oh, that's a natural reaction, Cole, but here's the freaky part. Kane sees that casket and he gets excited. He loves it. The champ hasn't faced anything like this in his career. Is this the night his championship is put to rest? The Big Red Machine is now under heavy pressure. Kane has to turn this around and quick. The moonsault. Oh, man. And a kick. Oof. Oh. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Oof. Oh, Swanton. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Grabbing something out of their trunk. Oh, no! Efficient offense leaving no breathing room. Yeah, it seems like he can't be stopped. That takes them down. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Oh. Taking it outside the ring now. Gets inside the ring. Out of the ring and into the casket. The end is near. Well, we've got a struggle on our hands to close the casket. They may survive. They're fighting back. And they're able to fight their way out of the casket. They can't be human. That's ridiculous. And he goes into the ring. And Tagiri finds its mark. A steady stream of moves taking out Kane. The Big Red Monster showing weakness here. The challenger is not in a great place. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. The window for opportunity is wide open. Can't waste any time now. Get back here. Leg Lariat. Down with a snap air. These consecutive attacks have him reeling. Yeah, this can't be how he pictured this fight going. Jackhammer! <laughs> Sends their opponent into the casket. Now this one may be over. Can they close the casket, but the, the opponent is trying to fight back. It's a battle of wills here. They did it. They survived for now. They're going to be breathing a sigh of relief. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. Clearly thinking a steel chair is what's needed right about now. And he's able to fight Kane off. Adios. He might be moments away from taking that eternal nap. Just have to get him to the casket and shut the room. Trying to close the lid. Trying. This is going to be tough. It's not over yet. The undisputed WWE Universe
Universal Champion laid Cade to rest once and for all. I can't believe he defeated the Big Red Machine at his own game. What an incredible victory here tonight. Sure, but let's not gloss over the fact he cheated to do it. Come on, Corey. Whoa, wait. What's going on? It's Roman Reigns. Bravo. Congratulations. The Dark Horse manages to win another race. And I didn't even have to win it for you this time. Did you forget? You're only standing there because of me. The locker room hasn't forgotten. The WWE Universe hasn't. And they won't. You can hold my WWE Universal title for a year. Two years. Why not three? It doesn't matter. You're just a tenant. I'm the landlord. You're holding something that doesn't belong to you because its owner has other interests. For now. Later, Chuck. Was that really necessary from Roman Reigns? I detected no lies, Cole. Roman Reigns somehow just made a huge win for the WWE Universal Champion feel like a loss. What's next, boss? You got Isaac Yankum in your contacts? Oh, yes. What a huge and impressive victory. Clearly, Roman Reigns was in awe of your incredible performance. Easy to talk smack from the sidelines, isn't it? The ego on you. You've been in the show for a hot minute, got a few lucky breaks, and all of a sudden, you think you're a legend? It's not about what I think. It's about what I am, and that's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, whether you like it or not. But next week, the week after, the next PLE, Roman said it himself. You're just champion, for now. I don't care what Roman or anyone else says. You just keep setting them up, I'll keep knocking them down. And after all was said and done, Becky Lynch won the WWE Women's Championship. The man is once again the man, and the WWE Universe could not be happier. The same can't be said on Raw, where the World Heavyweight Championship has been moving around like a hot potato. Well, if you want championship consistency, look no further than SmackDown. General Manager The Miz has been obsessed with dethroning the WWE Universal Champion, but the man many call the Dark Horse has now become the workhorse, turning back every challenge. If he successfully defends the title against Drew McIntyre in a Falls Count Anywhere match at SummerSlam, he will have been champion for a full year. Speaking of championship streaks, Gunter will look to continue his amazing run as the longest running intercontinental champion of all time at SummerSlam when he defends his title. As the champ reaches 365 days with his title, can you think of a champion who's had a tougher year? Oh, he's getting it from all sides. The Miz has won the title off of him since day one. No one said this would be easy. I'm shocked the so-called Dark Horse has had the title for a year. Almost a year? He has to get past Drew McIntyre tonight in this brutal Falls Count Anywhere match. Oh, wow. Drew finds the spot. McIntyre's spirit might have wavered there a bit. 
The unpredictable oh, rope step to the outside. Tope con Hilo. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Whoa, not quite yet. No, oh, McIntyre. Manhandling his opponent is Drew McIntyre. A running Hurricane Rana. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Uh-oh, clearing off the NFT. This is about to go from bad to worse. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. The tech oh, right. you got to be kidding me. Took a leap of faith and connected perfectly. This could be just what they needed. Oh, my God, a DDT. Spike them. Battling ringside, and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. McIntyre. Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that bloating. The challenger not looking good right now. Starting to lose a step or two, but the good news is there's plenty of real estate to catch your breath. Salido del Sol. Oh, ouch. Strikes with a kick. Great presence of mind by McIntyre. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Oh, man. Maybe that will set him up. shoes on. It might be time to clear out. is needed right about now if that couldn't end things. Boom! Head first. <laughs> Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Running Hurricane Rana! Fantastic. Sharp elbow. He's got Drew hooked. Oh, the start. That was the best one I've ever seen. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Cover. There's two. The champion retains. Here is your winner. And If you told me a year ago that you would still be WWE Universal Champion, I wouldn't have believed it. I am delighted to disappoint you. Am I disappointed? You're a draw. For some reason, people seem to like you. It's just that damn insistence on doing the exact opposite of everything I say that drives me nuts. I've never been great with authority. How long are we gonna keep doing this? I am the most must-see general manager in SmackDown's history. You're the WWE Universal Champion with all the momentum. So what if we work together instead of being at each other's throats? Because this right now, this feels like yet another trap you're trying to spring. I don't trust you. Call it a choice between the carrot and the stick. 
The carrot is, I make you into a cross-platform superstar like WWE has never seen. Of course, you'll need to have a bit of an attitude change and be willing to get your hands dirty. Okay, and what's the stick? The stick is, reject my offer, and if you think it's been a hard year, you can't even imagine what's coming next. After what I'll put you through, you will never escape Roman's shadow. Interesting. Maybe that's exactly what I'd do. Escape his shadow and yours too. What the hell does that mean? What it means is I hear NXT is a really cool brand. Never been. Maybe I take the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, head down to NXT and go after the title that Roman never won. What? You have a contract. You can't just walk off my show. I don't know. After this past year, I think I've shown I can do just about whatever I want. Fine. You have a choice to make. Work with me and have everything you've ever dreamed of. Or I make you regret ever becoming a WWE superstar. You know what, Miz? You're a devious SOB. And maybe that's a side of myself I need to tap into to get out of Roman's shadow. Let's do it. Yes! That is what I'm talking about! I knew you had ambition. We are going to rule the galaxy and everything beyond! If you say so. The point is, I have big plans for you. You're about to become a major crossover star. Tell me something. Do you like video games? So, I finally get to lay eyes on the man holding the WWE Universal title. Must be nice. It is. Thanks. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I guess there are benefits to being a champion who no one's afraid of. They might not be afraid of me before we get in the ring, but I guarantee they are afterwards. You're lucky you get a chance to show them. Me? Everyone watched me get stripped of my title, and then, just when I thought I'd get my shot against the lock, the newly crowned champion, it was like everyone just turned the page. You have no idea what it's like to feel like you're just a supporting character in somebody else's story. Left wondering what might have been. Wondering if anyone even remembers your name. Yeah, that's tough. Sorry, what was your name again? Like you don't know the name, Slade. I've been in WWE for 11 years, with a name the powers that be are terrified of. A name they refuse to let anywhere near a title match because they know what will happen. They know I'd win. Not against me. No offense, but everyone I've gone up against has done a lot of talking about how I don't deserve a title, and yet, I'm still here. Too bad the higher-ups, and you, will never give me the chance to prove it. You want a title shot? Fine. But you'll just have to find something else to complain about after I beat you. You're about to find out just what WWE has been protecting you from. Tonight, the WWE Universal Champion faces a challenger we haven't heard from in a while. Slade! A year ago, this guy was a major factor both in and out of the ring. I'm not sure what happened. You need the right combination of skill, luck, and timing. Just because you have the key doesn't mean it'll fit the lock. Reversal on top of reversal. Oh, wow. Slaying able to adapt. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. And that was a precisely measured attack. Oh, what impact! Ooh! Oh, and that buys some time. He's putting something together. Yeah, the champion's down, the champion's down. 
Oh my God, we're gonna have a new champion. He's not even close to being done yet. level move. Two count. And the champ stands tall once again. Here is your winner. And still the undisputed WWE Universal That was one hell of a title defense last week. No doubt why you're the champion. Um, thanks. Someday you'll have to give me the chance to get in the ring with you. I'd love to see how tough you are firsthand. Did I punch you too hard? We just got in the ring together. I'm the one who apparently gave you an out-of-body experience. Us? In the ring? I think I'd remember that. Clearly, you don't, Slade. Oh, I see the confusion. I'm not Slade. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time U.S. Champion, two-time Intercontinental Champion, multi-time Tag Champion, an all-around good guy. Totally different than Slade. I guess we do look a little bit alike. No beard here, though. Yeah, and it sounds like only one of you is taking their medication. Do chewable vitamins count? This has been fun, Slade. My friends call me Gabriel. Okay, Slade. I don't have time for this. Okay, but I'm serious about that match. Unless you're afraid I might beat you. After this, I'm definitely going to let Miz and Troy book my matches from now on. So, don't hold your breath. And to think I was rooting for you against Slade. It doesn't get any bigger than this. And these superstars? Not the new Byron. The richest prize in our sport today, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, is up for grabs here tonight. Inverted DDT connects. Boom. Stiff kick. Switches it back around. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Gorilla press slam. Vicious right forearm. What's this? It's Slade, but he seems to be distracting Strowman. That's actually Gabriel Slade. People are always getting them confused. Common mistake. Ow! I think the champ's got it. Try to end it. Oh, he kicked out. The champion's shot is palpable. The champ will have to dig deeper now. And it's going to take composure now. Could just need one more big move. Hey, hope I didn't throw off your flow out there. 
I was just pulling for you, and I couldn't help myself. What is your angle, Gabriel? <laughs> you called me Gabriel. Man, I don't have an angle. I'm just a fan and an all-around good guy, remember? I'm trying to help you hold on to your title. So you can take it off me? I get the sense that Miz isn't feeling that matchup right now. And I respect that. There's a lot of pressure on management, and I don't think it's fair to expect them to cater to every single superstar's wishes. So you weren't trying to send a message with that run-in? Just the message that I want to see you succeed. And I plan on doing whatever I can to make that happen. Sign me up as the newest member of the Horse Force. Wherever you go, whatever you do, I'll be right there supporting you. Sounds like either I need to get a restraining order or give you a title match. Really? Wow. That came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'll get Miz to set it up. But trust me, Gabe, you're not the only one who can play games. Now I really can't wait for this match. Neither can I. Then I can finally get rid of you, once and for all. It's deja vu once again. The WWE Universal Champion defends his title against Gabriel Slade, who has reemerged from the shadows, going from overlooked to overachiever in the blink of an eye. The champ's playing some mind games with the challenger, coming in just as his former ally turned rival turned elusive opponent, The Rock. Gabe's yeah, got to stay focused. A win puts him back on the map. Another loss, and people are going to remember why they forgot him in the first place. Get back here, Leg Larry. A big showing of agility from the champ there. Oh, man. The challenger's looking shaken. Springboard into a boom. What a hurricane rana. Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. Was ready for that. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. As part of the WWE production team, I've watched you dominate as the champ. But I've heard the same whispers I know you have. People see you as nothing more than Miz's new puppet. Cameron Grimes even said he could beat you twice in one night. Why not show the doubters that even if you're not defending your title, you'll go to any lengths to defend your reputation? Take Grimes on in a two out of three falls match and make him back up his talk. Cameron Grimes has been boasting he can beat the champ twice in one night. Confidence or mind game? It could be both. The mental aspect of this sport is often overlooked, and you can't deny the power of positive thinking. Sure, but you better hope it doesn't backfire. I wouldn't want to poke a tiger, even a paper one. Yikes. Hoist it up. Oh, attacked in the midsection. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Oh, what a kick. He's looking a little off balance. The neck's on the kick. Clearly waiting for that. Arm drag. Very nice. That gets reversed on Grimes. Oh, he was elusive there. Tossed with the arm drag. And it's reverse pain for this. Oh my god. Close line. What a way to get countered. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Nice. 
Nice counter from Grimes. Denied with an elbow. Oh, what a spear! Cover! Two! And he gets the fall early in the match. Spear! Feeling like it's over for Grimes. For the win! Two! It's over. All in a night's nice work. Here is your winner. Champ, can I just say that you are looking spectacular tonight? You just bring this energy that lights up the locker room. Oh, man. Cross won his match real fast, huh? How can you tell? You look pasty and nauseous, and that always means one of your ideas is blown up in your face. Yeah, uh, Carrion caught Veer Mahan in the cross jacket right off the lockup. It was over in 10 seconds. 10 seconds? So who do I have to beat in nine seconds or less? Uh, Apollo Crews? If I had two minutes against him, I'd be fine. But nine seconds against anyone is nearly impossible. You suck, Troy. Good luck out there, champ. The Dark Horse biggest challenge tonight is not Apollo Crews. But the clock as he attempts a 10 second victory. The match is almost already over. Cruz feeding off the crowd. Feet. Come on. Aww. Time is up and this ends in a draw. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. If the WWE Universal Champion's last match was a blitz, this one looks to be a battle of survival, with both men trying to outlast the other in a last man standing match. The Dark Horse is putting his title and body on the line. Whoever stands tall when the dust settles will have certainly earned the victory tonight. Well, I think the sands of the hourglass are running out for our champion, and Doomsday will officially arrive in the form of Karrion Cross. Boom! Swanton finds the mark. She's rummaging around under the ring here. Oh boy, this is the best win in here in a hurry. Drop yeah. kicked all the way to the floor. Watch out. Oh, so athletic. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. He'll head to the ring. Oh, boy. To the announce table now. Oh, uh, yeah. Gonna clean it off here. This is gonna be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. Uh-oh. One step ahead of Cross. Carrion Cross, watch this power. F10 with the F10 face buster. Carrion Cross showing absolutely no mercy. Yeah, whatever deity his opponent was appealing to, they were not answering the phone. With the counter. Treating them like trash, adding insult to injury. Yes! 
Just the trash can connects. Talk about taking out the trash. And he's able to counter. Legs caught. Got him caught. Uh oh, dragon screw. I gotta say, guys, it's great to be back on SmackDown. It always feels like home here. Cole, you sit behind this desk any longer, it's gonna feel like an old age home. Oh, countered into a power slam. Give them the slip just in time. Drop kick. That's seven. We may be getting to the end. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. That'll cross through teeth. And Cross is brought to a disadvantage now. I assure you, Kerry and Cross was not expecting to be in this position. to the champ. What's up, Dark Horse? I'm glad you're here. You look like a man who would appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime. Wouldn't everybody appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime? I don't know. I haven't asked everybody. Fair enough. Okay. So what's the opportunity? This has got everything. Exotic locale, untold riches, once-in-a-lifetime experiences, and everything is for a really important cause. Any one of those things by itself would probably be enough to say yes. Yeah, that almost sounds too good to be true. That's because it is. Most of that stuff I just made up. I was trying to spark your interest, but I am offering you a chance to help an important cause. All you have to do is come to SmackDown in Wisconsin a day early and do a charity match to help a great organization that helps find seeing-eyed people to care for blind dogs. You sure that's right? Usually the people are blind. Blind people and blind dogs? I guess they could bond over their shared experience, but no one's gonna know where they're going. We better get up there fast. You in? Yeah. I'm sure whatever this cause really is, it helps someone who needs it. An extra day of travel for a good cause? Hmm. What could go wrong? Oh, lots of stuff. Flat tire, you could forget to pack your underwear, could run out of gas, but we're taking the plane. I always remind the pilots to fill up, and I'm almost positive they sell underwear in Wisconsin. So, I think we're good. See you there. Sounds good, Truth. Man. The snow really coming down out there, huh? Yeah. So, what happened to the charity match? Don't you remember we were just talking about the snow coming down? Only an idiot would travel in this weather. None of the dogs or the people could make it. We've got SmackDown in a couple of hours, and there's only a couple of other wrestlers here. We won't even have a crowd tonight. I know. Troy just texted. He and Miz are stuck in Chicago. I'm not sure when they might get here. That's what I was afraid of. Sounds like we have no choice but to fall back onto the line of secession. And as the longest tenured locker room member and fifth in line to run things, I am in acting protocol 48 and naming myself acting GM. What are you talking about?
Protocol 48? Did, did you just make that up? Yes, but as my first order of business as acting GM, I'm writing Protocol 48, which names the acting GM in charge of everything. I had a strange feeling this was going to happen when I heard Miz was stuck in Chicago. So I went ahead and pulled the locker room, and everyone agreed they really wanted title shots. I bet they did. I guess part of being in charge is saying no. Why would I say no? I can't look like I'm playing favorites on my first day on the job. I run a democratic administration, and the people have voted. What? I fly in early to help you in some charity out, and this is the thanks I get? Charity isn't about what you get. It's about what you give. And first up, you be giving Robert Roode a title shot. And since everyone is trying to dig their way out of the snow, it's going to be a shovels match. By the way, how do you think I'm doing so far as GM? I think this will be one of the most amazingly bad situations in the history of WWE. I stopped listening at amazing. Good luck out there, champ. Mother Nature may have silenced the crowd, but the roar of champions will echo in the arena as interim GM R-Truth has deemed every match tonight will be a title showdown. And we're kicking it off with a shovels match? It's really too bad we're the only ones to see this live. They should make the loser clear the sidewalk outside so we can actually get some fans in here to enjoy this. Oh, that shot had to knock you out. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here, no safe confines to speak of. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. A panel slam. I don't know what they're looking for here. I have no clue how much lawn work needs to be done in this one, but we have a shovel now. Caving in the abdomen. The challenger's looking shaken. Good God almighty, that could end it all right here. Don't come over here. Cole, quick, use Saxton as a human shield. These are the kinds of attacks that can put a superstar on the shelf for a long time. This is getting more and more alarming with each uninterrupted attack. He avoids the damage. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. He returns to the ring. Oh, great. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Clearing the announce desk. What a mess. Oh my gosh. Showing the kind of skills you need to hold on to a title. He saw it coming, taking advantage. And Rude reverses. Cut off with a kick to the gut. Rude able to evade. Strong oh, kick. My goodness. And he's able to fight Root off. Drop kick! It hits the mark. He gets out of the way. Punch to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. Oof! Oof! Saw it coming and hit him with a shot to the face. Reigns down an elbow in retaliation. Cutter! Adios! The champ will stay champ. Pin. One, two, that's it. Retains the title. Here is your winner. And still, the undisputed WWE.
Dark Horse, thanks for coming in. I was hoping you had a minute to discuss your performance review. You have a suit? I always have a suit with me every time I travel. What if the hotel has a pool? Did you forget yours? I might have an extra, or else we can always take turns. I meant the suit you're wearing. Oh, this? Once I became GM, I started reading up on some business concept. One tip was, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. So while you were in the ring, I was looking to see if there was an astronaut suit laying around. I struck out on that front, but I found this baby in MVP's locker and thought maybe I should put it on so I could look more authoritative. Luckily, MVP said it didn't fit him too well, so he didn't mind if I borrowed it. What do you think? But I shouldn't have agreed to come on this trip with you. That grouchy attitude is exactly why I wanted to have this performance review. I'm looking for team players. You know teamwork makes the dream work. This is a nightmare. That's spirit. Now make sure you keep that mentality when you get out there for your next title defense. While I was looking around for the astronaut suit, I noticed something. The aisle numbers go in order. 11, 12, 13. Also, with no people in the arena, this place is really big. So for your next match, I want you and Chad Gable to really explore the space. Just like two astronauts, except there will be gravity. Uh, thanks for making that clear. No problem. As long as I'm GM, I don't want anyone out there thinking I've suspended gravity and they can't fall. You can. And in this match, those falls will count anywhere. Got it? Falls count anywhere title match against Chad Gable. All because our GM is a borrowed suit-wearing space cadet. Maybe someday. Using an empty arena for a false count anywhere match? GM R Truth is creating an inspired slate of matches under unique circumstances. Inspired? And R Truth? Come on, I wouldn't trust him to lead ants to a picnic. Seems like the blizzard outside is nothing compared to the storm brewing inside, backstage, and in every corner of this arena. Twisted it right into the neck breaker. Oh. oh. And the former Olympian Gable took a big hit there. Falls Count Anywhere matches are uniquely demanding. He should know that. And that was a well executed attack. Devastating kick. Ah. Tossed by the neck. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Wow! Oh, into a power bomb. No mercy being shown to Gable here. Gable has to gather the energy to turn the tables. One. Two, and Chad Gable powers out. Close call, that was almost lights out. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. Off the rope. Oh God, that, that, that's a bad landing. No, that was a harebrained idea to try that. Was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. Ooh, a vicious shot right to the dome. Oof, point of the elbow counters that. Ducks through, up and over. Selena Del Sol, looking for the victory. Whoa. Two count. It's and the champ retains. Here is your winner, Hans. Great match out there, champ. Can you believe just a few hours ago there were people saying I wasn't suited to be a GM? Yes, people like me, and we were right. I agree. That's why I took the suit off. Turns out being a GM is pretty tedious. It's mostly just logistics, and those are my third least favorite kind of sticks. But while I was bored in my office, I was watching you out there, and I was thinking that you look pretty tired. I wonder why. Probably because of the two title matches.
There's no way to know for sure. Anyway, I figured you being dead tired might mean this is my best chance to beat a dead horse. And since I'm in charge and there's no audience, I'm taking you on in a 24-7 style match for the title. Starting right now. Well, not literally right now, but in a few minutes backstage. See you there. The avalanche of attacks of the champion just keep coming. A 24-7 match for the WWE Universal title? Interim SmackDown GM R-Truth is rewriting the rules left and right. He might have a future in management after all. Oh, a kick! Wow! Boom! Oh, what an uppercut. Jarring. Oh, man! Oh, strong impact! Oh, Boom! Oh. oh, my! He just barely dodges. Oh! Ooh. Oh, God! Able to sidestep it. He fends off the attack. Inverted suplex. Cover by the challenger. No early kick out. He saw it coming. Ducks through. Up and over. Selena Del Sol. And look at this. Wow, did you see that? Cover! One, two, three. Got it. And the champ adds to their legacy. Champ, I've been looking for you. Woods, yeah, I saw your text. Sorry, Miz has me super busy with a bunch of, uh, champ stuff. You know how it is. I mean, or at least you know how half of it is, because you were a tag champ. I'm gonna ignore that for now, because what I wanted to talk to you about is that you are stealing from me. Stealing? What? Don't play dumb with me. I'm talking about the show. The video game show? Look, it's totally different than yours. What's my show called? Up, Up, Down, Down. And what is your show going to be called? It's, well, Down, Up, Down, Up. That's the same show. You and Miz stole my IP and barely even had the decency to change the name. Uh, we don't even spell the name out. It's with arrows. With arrows? Are you kidding me? You need to relax. Down Up, Down Up, but with arrows, hasn't even premiered yet. Miz is still looking for my co-host. How are you going to judge before we even start? Because this is plagiarism. I've spent years building this show and brand, and you just step in and rip it off? You and me are going to have to sort this out. Woods, we'll deal with this. But I am the undisputed WWE Universal Champion in the face of SmackDown. So we'll talk sometime after my next match. Oh, you'll be able to slot me into all your champ stuff? We'll see. We've heard rumblings that our WWE Universal Champion has come to a bit of understanding with The Miz. If that's true, I commend him for finally seeing the light. Well, he better not be too distracted with backstage politics. Otherwise, Butch will take his title here tonight. Counters that. Ooh. Standing Spanish flyer. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, my God. The moonsault. Oof. Oof. Kick finds it. He must have seen that coming. Strong kick. Beautiful. Springboard. Oh, just completely off target there. 
You have daring and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. An overbearing amount of offense against Butch here. Butch has to wake up and get going in a hurry. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. And that one misses the mark. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Butch at a disadvantage. Butch was waiting for it. Is this a special episode of Up, Up, Down, Down? Our champ's new relationship with The Miz is already ruffling some people's feathers. In this case, it's Xavier Woods. Standing Spanish Flyer, are you kidding me? Incredible. There's two, almost two and a half. He thought he had it. Snapmare could set something else up. Put into the corner now, and that stops what Butch had intended. Adios. The champions need to finish the job. The cover! That's it! The champ stays the champ! Here is your winner. The champ is here! Ooh, isn't that a little, uh, played out? You're right. I'll get Troy to focus test some new catchphrases for my guy. But either way, you are about to be the most must-see crossover superstar in SmackDown history. Which, believe me, I am stoked for. By the way, how about Xavier Woods getting hot about all this? He's saying we stole his show. That's insane. Our show is totally different. You and your superstar co-host are going to play video games and stream them live to your built-in audience of the WWE Universe. Yeah, way different. Right? It's not even close. And you won't look like a slob the way Woods does. Marisa Stylist is putting together a whole new look just for you. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. Anyway, I wasn't too happy that Woods interrupted my match. Come on, you wanted to work with me. These are the repercussions of that attitude change. And besides, Woods is only generating more attention for your big premiere. You're right. Forget I said anything. Speaking of which, what are you even doing here? Your co-host is already on her way to makeup. Uh, oh, you cast someone? Who is it? Head to the set, champ. I don't want to ruin the surprise. When you're ready to go, I've got a car waiting. Welcome to the premiere episode of Down Arrow, Up Arrow, Down Arrow, Up Arrow. I think we can just say Down Up, Down Up. Sure. Presented by The Miz. Woo! I'm WWE superstar Gigi Dolan, and I was told about this like 20 minutes ago. Miz told me days ago. Did he give you a gold star too? I'm joined by my co-host, the not at all controversial WWE Universal Champion. Am I that controversial? Do you read your social media or talk to anyone in the locker room? Dude, you've got heat. 
Point is, we are going to play an exciting video game and you will never believe what it is. It's WWE 2K24. Booty, I call booty. This wasn't in the rundown. Those are booty, this is booty, that, that right there is especially booty. My jacket? Yeah, it's clearly a Kevin Owens hand-me-down. You swore this show wasn't a ripoff, and it is literally my show, but done much worse. <sighs> We've been over this. What is your show called? I'm glad you asked. Up, up, down, down. Available wherever you stream high-quality content. Exactly. And our show is down, up, down, up. With arrows, though. Not spelled out. Uh, see? Totally different. One, that is totally the same. And two, down, up, down, up isn't part of a famous video game code. It doesn't even mean anything. Let's be real. Have either of you ever played a game in your lives? Of course, all the time. And I watch your show. Not, not to rip it off, just because I love games. Oh my, okay. You got your controller, I brought mine. You and me, WWE 2K24, it's on. Wow, he really called you out. What is this, high school? Fine, let's do it. What do you got? I'm playing as my amazing alter ego, Cass Zero. Wouldn't it be cool if he was an unlockable? Then I'll play as John freaking Cena. Playing as one of the highest OVR characters in the game. Hmm. Bold. I mean, he has a point. You're a huge help. Who would you play as? If it were me carrying the honor of the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, I'd play as... Stacked McSlacks. Ooh, nice. Deep cut. He's got the lowest OVR in the game. You know he's based on a real guy? I beat him once on the indies. If you can beat Zero with Stacked, that'll prove you're a real gamer and not some booty wannabe gaming poser. Xavier's words. Or take the easy way out. Go with Cena and prove nothing. Totally your call though. Prepare to get McSlacked. If I can beat you with stacked McSlacks, I can beat you with a wet fish. Champ? That is so rude. What if Mama McSlacks is watching? I'm gonna beat you, but you best put some respect on Stack McSlacks' name. Man is a legend. I do a lot of charity work, but playing you is really going above and beyond. Starting to get that sweet, sweet, I wrote a check my butt can't cash feeling, huh? Nah. More like I'm fixing to expose the champ as a gaming fraud in front of the whole WWE universe feeling. If you think the whole WWE universe is watching this show, I have some very disappointing news for you. You know how to run the ropes in real life, right?
see? You see? Games are one thing, but real life is another. You know what that performance you just turned in says to me? What? You are not the least bit undisputed in either real life or a video game. Ooh, sick burn. You want a sick burn? Try this. The dark horse here stole the WWE Universal title with help from Roman Reigns. Now he's trying to steal my show with help from The Miz. Calm down, Xavier. I'm just getting started. You are a bootleg champion with a booty show. This whole thing is booty leg. Okay, you can stop trying to get yourself over on our show. Bye. Guys, in the interest of creating compelling content both on our show and SmackDown, I have a proposal. This is gonna be good. Just listen. Champ, put your WWE Universal title on the line against Xavier, he wins, you and me walk away from down up, down up, but with arrows. I like it. And what's at stake for him? Xavier, my co-host here wins, and you give up your show, Up, Up, Down, Down, and all your complaining about our entirely original masterpiece. Thinking about it? I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll come out with you for the match. Oh my. Did I walk into a rom-com? Stop shipping yourselves. Anyway, I accept your challenge. I am going to put an end to your title reign and your show. Let's do this. All right, this is gonna be great. What a historic premiere episode. That's all folks, see you next time on Down Up, Down Up, but with arrows. Wait. What just happened? Champ, we need to talk. Now, I know the boys like to go into business for themselves. Get to the point, Troy. Fine. Miz is not happy. Your little ego trip with Xavier Woods is put down up, down up at risk before it even makes it to episode two. It's all under control. Is it? Because it seems like Gigi Dolan bats her eyelashes and you put all of Miz's hard work in your own breakout show in jeopardy. Not to mention the WWE Universal Championship. I'm done with this conversation. If Miz wants to talk to me, he can come see me face to face, not send his personal stooge. Miz has a show to run, so he delegates communication to his highly talented team. All I know is that after all he's invested in you, you better beat Woods out there, or he might have to rethink your partnership. What part of I'm done did you not get? Bye, Troy. I'm so excited to see Stacked McSlacks. He was my hero. Hey, Slack, give Corey a slack breaker. You're embarrassing yourself and me, Saxton. The real reason we're here is the loser gets their show canceled, which in the champion's case has absolutely no similarities to Up, Up, Down, Down. I don't know about that, but let's not. A rope step to make up. No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. Oh, right to the kidneys. They're playing away. He's battling this area. Could end in serious harm. Momentum is running away from Woods here. Woods has got to figure things out in a hurry. Into the ring now. The WWE Universal Champion looking to take command here. Hold on, it looks like things are getting heated between GG Dolan and Stack McSlacks. That's it, the referee has had enough of GG's antics. Are you kidding me? The referee should be ejecting this Slacks loser. You got your wish, Corey. Stax gets tossed too. Well, I guess it's back to one-on-one -on -one action. Into gear and finds its mark. 
He just keeps dealing out punishment with every move. It's a sign he's got his opponent figured out. Run right through with the spear. A championship level move. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion has retained his title. And more importantly, The Miz is entirely original show. This is plagiarism on live television, Corey. The champ, Gigi Dolan, and The Miz stole Xavier's show, and now they're getting away with it. Did you see Stacked out there? I saw you chase him out of the building. Amazing. You know, turns out Miz was right. What do you mean? When he put me with you for down up, down up, but with arrows, I figured it was some kind of rib. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Let me finish. Turns out we make a pretty good team. Yeah. Yeah, we do. But still, after the outcome of tonight's match, I kind of feel bad about getting Xavier's show canceled. Come on, this is all part of Miz's plan and it's working. And besides, we just eliminated the competition. His audience is gonna need something to watch now and that's where we come in. I know this was all technically legal, but legal and right aren't necessarily the same thing. Believe me, I know. Well, if that isn't the beginning to a long story, Maybe you could tell me all about it. Over dinner? We could do that. But I was thinking of going to a late night showing of that new Roman Reigns movie. Really? Really? Did you know he was the longest reigning undisputed WWE Universal Champion ever? You are absolutely toxic. Yep. Come on. I don't want to miss the previews. Let's go. I would not do this for anyone else. You heard, but MVP said your suit on Down Up Down Up looks like it's been tailored by a right-handed tornado using left-handed scissors. Like he can talk. Remember his suit this time about a year ago? Embarrassing. Anyway, I was wondering if you're going to fire back at MVP, or just take your thoughts directly to him in the form of a backstage brawl. You could teach MVP a lesson in style and make a fashion statement he'll never forget. And it is on. Looks like MVP didn't realize this morning he was getting dressed up for a beatdown. Now, I don't want to take sides here, but looking at these two, you have to admit, MVP has a point. Well, all I know is some say clothes make the man, but in this case, they're making for one explosive fight. Oh, my God, a DDT! Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Oh, wow. Into a powerbomb. Oh, round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Setting this table up, and guys, someone's about to have a really bad night. Oh, through the table! Boom! Boom! And Zagiri finds his 
mark. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Wow. Oh, into a power bomb. Oh, I'm hyperventilating. I can't take this. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. He's climbing up that long ladder. Where's he going? Gotten himself into a very precarious situation up there. Get to the gut. Oh, sit out. Jawbreaker. Eating through a straw for a week. Big kick. And this backstage area is in danger of being torn apart if this continues any further. I'll say goodbye to our safety deposit because I see no signs of things slowing down. Rocked by the clothesline out of nowhere. Jeez. Clothesline! That unraveled on MVP. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. He's turning the tables. Hooked up. DDT! Things could go wrong here in a hurry. This fight has been taken to a very unforgiving area. An impact on any of these surfaces at the wrong angle could do real lasting damage. Ducks through. Up and over. No official needed here, as it looks like they've settled it themselves. Yeah, I just hope no one was seriously hurt.
We've gone from pixels to power slams as Gigi Dolan and Shayna Baszler have taken their virtual vendetta to the real life squared circle. And they're not alone as the WWE Universal Champion is out here sending a very clear message to Xavier Woods with his choice of attire. We'll have to see if those kinds of mind games prove to be the cheat code Gigi needs to come out on top in this one. There's a special word that I can't say on air for that type of slap. Hey, keep things T for team, Corey. An impressive chain of moves from Gigi. Gigi loves to have this kind of control. And Shayna was the one getting broken down on that exchange. Yeah, as Dolan set out to take out the competition in this one, and boy, is she delivering now. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Oh, bottom kick. Nasty kick. Ooh. Oh, quite an effective counter. Baszler is not taking this line down anymore. Yeah, Shayna able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Provide an escape plan. Go behind. German suplex. Gigi clearly wants a fight here. This is not the time to be diverting attention away from your opponent. Suplex drops him right on the neck. Oh, ouch. Reversal, can they go on the attack? Gigi catches her by surprise. Heading back to the ring. Uh-oh. And she had Baszler scouted. Uh-oh. German suplex released. Boom. Knee strike connects. being dismantled. Baszler's toughness needs to kick in here. Ooh, man, what a hit. Opponent has her cornered now. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Close line. Gigi Dolan has her opponent on. Oh, my, the Gigi driver. Dolan landed that perfectly. Damn, I am so excited you're here. Troy, would you take offense if I said that every time you're this excited, I worry something bad is going to happen? No, oh, not this time. Miz has the most must-see, vertically integrated, synergistic, incredible stunt in the history of SmackDown planned, and you are the star attraction, huh? The suspense is killing me. Or maybe that's just your breath. <laughs> Kidding. I'm on my way. I'm telling you, you're going to love this. Love it! Love is in the air! Where have you been? Sorry. Finally, we can talk about my plan to make you the brightest light on the road to WrestleMania. I don't suppose your tux can be explained away by dressing up the announcement of who I'm defending against at Mania. Think bigger. 
we are going to do a WWE classic. A wedding! Um, who exactly is getting married? Oh, it's as bad as you're thinking. If by bad you mean brilliant, guys, the WWE Universe loves the chemistry between the attractively toxic G.G. Dolan and the most must-see Universal Champion in WWE. Uh, I'm the only Universal Champion in WWE? When you went and trained with Lita, it gave me the inspiration. When she and Kane got married, that was must-see. Was it, though? The point is, the marriage of Gigi Dolan and the WWE Universal Champion will draw more eyeballs than a royal wedding. Take that, Regal! I love a publicity stunt as much as anyone, but I have questions. Same. A lot of questions. And I have all the answers. But right now, you guys have to get dressed. Get dressed for... We are announcing your big engagement with a Miz Match Challenge. Gigi and the Dark Horse versus the hottest couple in WWE history, Miz and Mrs. But we didn't get engaged. Yeah, I have concerns. Lay them aside and put on your formal wear, because we've got an engagement to announce. Look how fancy everyone looks for this engagement match. According to my notes, our GM is actually calling this a Miz match challenge. Not surprised, as the Miz will do anything for publicity, but to exploit someone else's engagement is a bit much. Congrats to the champ and Gigi. Don't spoil the party, Saxton. Dropping the knee for more punishment. Connects on the kick. He's able to fend off the attack. Close line! The Miz isn't really looking like a glamorous A-lister after absorbing that blow. And now the tag resets the action as the men get set to do battle. Ah, oh, jeez! She tagged out, but if you ask me, I think her opponent wanted a break too. Running Hurricane Rana! Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Improving a bit slippery for them there. Oh, right in there. Wow, look at that agility. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. He gets the tag, and that means his opponent has to switch with his partner, too. Ooh, what a forearm claw. Ooh, turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Gigi catches her by surprise. Half kick right on point. He's looking a little weary now. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Celebrate all night long. Here are your winners, Gigi Dolan and Scorpion Zero. Nobody can keep the WWE Universal Champion down. The right man might not have shown up yet, but he will sooner or later, and this fluke run will finally end. Put that match in a museum or a textbook so future teams can study to learn this craft. Tonight's our big night. Gigi, what are you doing? I'm not supposed to see you before the ceremony. Well, shoot. I guess if watching me beat up Maurice in this beautiful dress didn't jinx our wedding, this definitely put a nail in the marital coffin. What is actually happening tonight? I don't know, but that squirrely producer Troy had me sign a bunch of paperwork, which makes me think this might be more than a TV stunt. I signed some stuff too. 
You don't think Miz is looking to turn this into some kind of weird made-for-TV arranged marriage, do you? I wouldn't put anything past him. Well, we've managed to make lemonade out of his lemons so far. I say we see where this goes. Besides, you ever see a WWE wedding without a twist? All right, hubby. N nope, feels weird. I kind of like it. Gross. I could have sworn Miz promised us a spectacular wedding for the ages. Not sure this is that. Stop, Saxton. I have been assured the bride and groom wanted an intimate service on live television. I'm no body language expert, but Gigi and the champ don't look too happy about this. You've never heard of wedding jitters, Cole? Everyone's a critic. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to celebrate the beauty of love and lifelong commitment. Where's brother love when you need him? You're booing love and commitment? They're just jealous. Before we recite the vows, does anyone here have reason to object to this wedding? Speak now, or forever hold your peace. You get the sense the WWE Universe is rooting for an interruption here. Uh, Troy, aren't you skipping a couple of things? Isn't there the, uh, ceremonial... The, the tying of our hands thing with the ribbons. We still need to do that. Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins? What is the WWE Women's Champion thinking? This is a sacred ceremony. Oh, uh, you were all waiting for an interruption, weren't you? Let's hear it. You want to see these two goofs go through a Miz's shotgun wedding? No, nobody wants to see that. Or do you want to see the hottest, most influential, most fashionable, Real couple in WWE renew their vows. You and Seth already had your moment. The champ and Gigi deserve theirs. Let's go, preacher man. Get to the vows. I will kiss my groom. Uh, this wasn't part of the plan. This is a nuptial hijacking. You are not going to spoil my TV wedding. Gigi might have been on the fence, but she's not going to be upstage. No, no, no. Here we go. All no, hell stop, is stop, broken stop. loose. Come on, Troy. Do something. Security. Somebody. Not the expensive Miss. flowers. So much for a calm and peaceful ceremony. The WWE <laughs> Universal <laughs> Champion is taking it to Seth Rollins. It's a war of the bride. And the grooms, too. We have lost all control no, here. No, no. Into the wedding bower. Look no, out, no, no, no. This is nuts. Do Typical you know WWE, WWE wedding, guys. I guess the reception's no, 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 canceled. Please listen to me. Go to commercial. Go to commercial. This feels weird in my mouth to say, but thanks. I'm gonna mark today in my calendar. Gigi said thank you. Stop or I'll take it back. Putting the WWE Universal Championship on the line to get me a title shot at Mania is kind of a big deal. I appreciate it. We're partners in crime, right? And nearly married co-hosts. We really dodged a bullet there. Or actually, more like a missile. Come on, it wouldn't have been that bad. I guess. At least my phone wouldn't be getting blown up by Miz right now. 
I don't think he cares about the wedding going off the rails. He's more upset we went into business for ourselves with these mania matches. Then I guess we better win. I mean, there's no way Miz messes with his golden couple, right? I'm a champion, and you're about to be one. We'll pretty much dictate all the terms in the world. To Miz, or whoever we need to. Well, I'm just gonna have to beat Becky Lynch in the middle of that ring. When WrestleMania is over, we'll be the most powerful duo in WWE. I like the sound of that. From wedding bells to wedding crashers to a title cash-in, Gigi Dolan and Becky Lynch and their tumultuous journey here at WrestleMania. All eyes are on this match, but I bet none are looking as intently as the Universal Champ is right now. He'll be putting his title up against Becky's beau, Seth Rollins, later tonight. A title win from Gigi right now would put a big pep in the step of the champ. Ugh. With the pain being inflicted on the champion here, this isn't just business. This is personal now. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Strikes with a kick. Boom. And Becky's toughness certainly got tested by that hit. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. And momentum is slipping away from Lynch. Gigi loves to have this kind of control. One outside, one inside. We'll see how this unfolds as we proceed. Lynch now on the offensive. Lynch reversing the momentum on her. Time now for Becky to get her energy up and clap. Double underhook. Sit out, slam into an armbar. Beautiful combo. Think so about all the pain she's in right now. She fights her way out of the armbar. Impressive chain of moves from Gigi. Becky's going to have to endure this punishment. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Ooh, slows that down with a well-placed kick. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? The referee clearly noticed she was on the ropes. Becky just mocking her now. Has the arm into a hammerlock cinched in. Arm oh. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. And Becky saw an obstacle in her way and handled it accordingly. Look out! Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off! That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Ooh. Uh-oh, she has trouble coming. Not going to be easy to get out of this. She's in a tremendous amount. Cross on bars in. No, change of plans. <laughs> Turning the tables. Arm ringer. They're pulled up against counter with a right hand. What a double axe handle. Bam. She's pumping herself up. Reaching out for that burst of energy. Gigi Dolan has her opponent off. Tied up with a Gigi driver. The title might change hands. Two count. Wow, just barely making it out. We knew it was not going to be an easy task to put the champion away. And that's being proven right now. More like the champions proving that sooner perish than lose their title. There's got to be some sense of desperation right now. She's used her best weapon, but the match still continues. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. From the top. Oh, elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. A bad place to be for the challenger. Becky keenly sensed an opportunity to attack and took full advantage. With authority. Using the hair to drag their opponent down. Oh no, look at this! How oh, punishing! <laughs> Becky holds her off. Gigi 
Gigi Dolan has her opponent on top for the Gigi driver. We can have a new champion. Trouble's there. And a new champion is officially crowned. Here is your winner. the title. Becoming the champion has to be one of the most glorious feelings she's felt in her life. You just beat Becky Lynch like I knew you would. That was amazing. It felt amazing. Did you see the look on her face when I held up the title? And now it's your turn. Go out there and embarrass Becky's bow. You got it, partner. I'll be watching. You got this. Right now, in this brief moment, a former dark horse and the toxic underdog are on top of the WWE mountain. Will it last? I wouldn't count on the championship couple staying on top for long. Seth Rollins is not only fighting for the undisputed WWE Universal title, he's fighting to get revenge for his wife. A love story so big, it could only be told at WrestleMania. Oh, man. Hoist it up. Wow, a gut buster. Seth retaliates. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Oh, Swanton. The challenger eating up some damage. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Oh, uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. The running senton. Crushing impact. Seth is being overwhelmed. Yeah, Rollins has hit a roadblock here. Salt. Quick thinking pays off. Brief sign of adrenaline from Rollins. A running hurricane run. The champ showing that quickness. Boom. Oh, what a kick. Oh, man. Ooh. Strong kick. My goodness. He steers clear of contact. DDT! And he's just flaunting his skills now. Yeah, it's one attack after the... Flattened. Now that is why they're the champ. Makes the cover! He stays alive, he stays alive! And look at the disbelief on the face of the champion. They both know what's at stake. Neither competitor is gonna lose easy here. The next big move Makes might end this. The question is, who has the stamina left to pull it out? This is where great cardio makes all the difference, helping you stay alive deep into the match. Running Hurricane Rana! Fantastic! Oh! Whoa! That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Seth Rollins just getting dismantled. And Rollins in need of salvation. Tossed back into the ring. Evades their offense. Oh, and a spear! That's gonna be it. There's two! Kick out and the title fight continues. Almost inhuman at this point. I think the champ's got it. champion. The whole WWE Universe here at WrestleMania was behind Seth Rollins and now they're giving the champ hell. And look at him, Saxton. He's feeding on it. That's the Miz's influence. You say that like it's a good thing. 
Seth Rollins cannot believe what has happened here on night one of WrestleMania. And there's Becky comforting him. It's disgusting. Go do your crying backstage. Miz and Gigi have turned the WWE Universal Champion into a real son of a winner. He's a winner, Cole. Learn to love it. And here comes Gigi Dolan to lord it over Becky and Seth. Yeah, how about a little humility? You really expect that from these two? First it was getting Xavier Woods' show canceled. And now the title of first couple of WWE, Saxton. You are seeing the torch pass right there. Can you believe this? The arrogance. Arrogance? They're the champions of SmackDown. This is their night to bask in the spotlight. They're not basking. They're rubbing the WWE Universe's faces in their wins. The new WWE Women's Champion and the WWE Universal Champion were both victorious tonight, and this crowd is giving them hell for it. A true heartbreaker to end night one of WrestleMania. How much longer is this going to go on? As long as they want it to, Cole. Let's go! What did I tell you? Most powerful duo in WWE. I have one question for the two of you. Just who in the hell do you think you are? You must not have heard him. We are the most powerful duo in WWE. Do you think calling yourselves that means you can go around making your own matches at WrestleMania? I am the general manager of SmackDown, AKA the most powerful man in WWE. I don't know, Troy's got pull. You think you're cute? I am your boss. You will show me respect. You get every bit of respect that you deserve, Miz. Which is to say, not much. You ungrateful? I made you must-see when the WWE Universe was calling you a fraud. I made both of you. I gave you a hit worldwide streaming platform. Let's be real. You ripped off Xavier's show and pushed Gigi and me into a TV wedding that neither of us wanted any part of. The only fraud standing here is you, Miz. Agreeing to work with you was the worst decision I've made in my entire career. And clearly, we don't need you. So no more ripoff show, no more publicity stunts, no more Miz. Us, this, this arrangement, it, is finished. Finished? Finished? You don't finish this. I do. Pack your bags, Dolan. You're going to Raw. What? I'm the WWE Women's Champion. You were. But you're Regal's problem now. So hand over my WWE Women's Championship. Do it. Now. I could take you down so fast. Go ahead, hit me. I'll fire you and strip you of your title too. It's not worth it. That's fine. I'm not gonna have to strip you of your title because soon enough, you're gonna lose it. Your next defense is going to be so grueling. It is guaranteed to end your reign. You are the pettiest human being I've ever met. And you are just a bad memory. Congrats on the big WrestleMania victory, champ.
Well, our ascension to power did not go entirely as planned. I promise you, Miz is going to be out of the picture. And I'm going to... Hey, look, I'm all for being one of the many reasons you have to punch Miz's dumb face one of these days. But I'm not some princess you have to avenge. You beat Becky Lynch. You won the WWE Women's Championship and he took that away from you. It makes me... Enraged? Me too. But you know what? You opened the door, but I beat Becky Lynch. I won that title. I'm gonna carry that confidence over to Raw and win the Women's World Championship. Hell yeah, you are. You need me? You know where I'll be. <laughs> on top of the mountain on Raw. You're damn right. See you around, Dark Horse. See you, Gigi. Troy, so good to see you, man. You too, champ. Your big victory over Seth at WrestleMania has Miz in the most cheerful mood. Believe me, the whole team is delighted with you. Sarcasm for sarcasm. I dig it. What do you and our must-see general manager have for me now? A live interview on The Bump that you're already running late for. And believe me, you don't want to miss this. Oh, I won't. I've never been more eager to tell the WWE Universe all about the Miz's stellar leadership. Great! There's a car waiting outside. It's not a limo or an SUV. It's actually a compact rental car that you'll be driving yourself. And you owe us $74.38. And it will actually be more than that if you don't fill up the gas before you return it. Wow. You guys really know how to treat your champions. Thanks, Troy. Some say the story was finally completed on night two of WrestleMania when Cody Rhodes won the World Heavyweight Championship at last. But it felt like a beginning to me, Kayla. I agree, Byron. But our guest at this time is also in the midst of an incredible story. Please welcome the man who won the main event on night one, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Welcome, champ. Huge night for you at WrestleMania. Thanks, Byron. First, congratulations to Cody. He's been in the hunt for a long time. From one champ to another, here's to you. As Cody begins his championship journey, yours is becoming a marathon. I remember right after you won the WWE Universal title, Roman Reigns joked that you wouldn't last a month. Now it is day 666, and ooh, uh, hope that's not bad luck for your upcoming match. Wait, do you know something I don't? What match? Uh, yes, it wasn't meant to come out that way, but we do have some significant news to share on that front. Way to blow our big reveal, Byron. Anyway, Miz gave us the exclusive on your next championship defense. Well, I'm here. Might as well say it. Before I do, just remember we're only the messengers. This is straight from the Miz. You will defend the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against five other superstars in an Elimination Chamber match. I think Miz's words were actually... I'll put the toughest opponents from his past inside a cage and see if he's lucky enough to survive. Ha, 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 ha. So, uh, thoughts? I'm not phased. Sure, this will be one of the greatest tests of my reign in the Elimination Chamber. And Miz can bring out all the heavy hitters he wants. But I'm not going to need luck. Luck isn't going to enter the picture. They used to call me the Dark Horse, but now the WWE Universe knows that I am a workhorse. 
I'm going to out-hustle every man in the chamber, and I'm going to walk out still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion because Miz sets him up, and I knock him down. So, anything else you want to cover? Uh, I think you made your point. Look at the smile. You look entirely too happy to be a general manager. I finally got the champion I should have had for quite some time. Cody? Good for him. Good for the business. He's an amazing talent carrying quite the legacy. I'm proud of him. I get your relief. The World Heavyweight title gets passed around so much over on Raw that it must have been hard to keep track. Hopefully Cody can hang on to it for a while. Hopefully you can hold on to the WWE Universal Championship through the Elimination Chamber tonight. Miz has assembled quite the rogues gallery. Yeah, consisting mostly of guys I already beat. Overconfidence can blind one to unseen threats. I'm coming up on two years as WWE Universal Champion Regal. I think I've earned a little confidence at this point. Well, how you've changed. It would be interesting. What? If you get through the Elimination Chamber, perhaps Miz and I should start a conversation about the match everyone expected on your first night as champion. You versus Cody Rhodes. The match everyone expected me to lose? Bring it on. Wonder who the odds would favor this time. A fine question indeed. One that's been hanging over my head for a long time. I'm thinking maybe you're right. And it's time we answered it. Maybe. But we'll talk more later. If you can survive tonight. Good luck. Five top challengers are all vying for the WWE Universal Championship. Not just any challengers, mind you. Some of them have revenge on their mind. You said it, Cole. Beating a man once takes skill. Beating a man twice takes guts. Beating them in an elimination chamber takes... Well, I just don't know if the champ has what it takes. Well, I'm eager to see what the champ is made of tonight in this daunting title defense. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Ooh! Counters! Makes him pay with a counter! These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. And Paul caught by surprise. Nice calf kick, great elevation. Evading offense. Nasty kick to the face. And right now, Kane's next to set foot in this Elimination Chamber matchup. Channeling his energy here. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Fought back with a. And there's the cover! Fights out in two. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Breaker. Oh, impressive count. Seth freaking Rollins is but unleashed from his pod. Bulldog! Oh my god, a clothesline! Looks like they're looking for it now. Seth Rollins back of the neck with a full on blow. Oh, right to the chest. Will it be? 
rope break right there. Over the top rope. Oh, this is vicious. No powerball. He turns it around. It's time for Kevin Owens to make an impact in the Elimination Chamber. Bottom up for Kevin Owens. Drop some teeth. Stars in total. Looking worse for wear in the corner now.
Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Targeting the arm now. See, he may get the three count right here. I think so. Retains. No challenger kicks out. Obviously. Rollins looking at KO. The time's in jeopardy here. I right, think the paradigm is shifted. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Two. He kicked out at two. I don't believe it. How did the challenger survive that? By the oh, skin no. of their teeth. And don't expect the champ to start going easy on them now. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished this or if it's disbelief that his opponent is still in. Take down. Look at the cross face. It's cinched in. This could be over. Byron, I don't think McIntyre is long for the world. They're going to free the arm and does just that. Picks him up. Spine Buster! The Scottish Warrior staring into his opponent's soul right now, trying to see what they're made of. Two! Three superstars left here in the chamber. Wonder if we'll see some temporary alliances. Back in the ring now. Ooh. Oh, with authority! The champ looking worn out. Letting this match go a little longer than is strictly advisable. Not gonna try making use of that stipulation. Choose any Seth Rollins nickname you want, they're all true. And the WWE Universe can't deny it. Oh, perfect kick. Kick to the gut. Arms hooked. Future shot. DDT. The title might change hands. There's some power behind that punch. Chop block. Cover here! No, stops the count at two. He just won't give up. The cover! The champ will stay champ. The cover! What a kick out! I don't believe it. Somehow, this title is still up for grabs. Now might be a good time to regroup. Rethink your plan. I thought it was over. The WWE Universe thought it was over. But you gotta do a little more to finally finish this. Bad predicament right here. Who has to shot to the throat? Standing shooting star. That's incredible. Vicious right forearm. Boom. Oh, what an uppercut. Jordan. He manages to escape. Does he get him here? The champ with a surprisingly quick kick out. This deep into the match, and he's able to kick out before a one count? It's stunning. Getting him into the corner. Stop Cole with the boot. Spear! Cover! Two! Digging deep for a kick out. What a match. is beyond comprehension. What a gut wrench powerbomb. Close line. What impact. Both arms captured and vitriolic stumps. Attack. Flattened. Another one bites the dust to the chicago. Chamber this has been, and it's down to these two competitors. Cover! Two count! And the champ retains. Here is your winner, and still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Scorpion Sub-Zero. The 
WWE Universal Champion has outlasted the toughest opponents from his past. But now, what lies ahead? He's pretty much defeated everyone. What lies ahead is the champion who has reigned longer than the Dark Horse, and that's Gunther. It's time we see those two face off. I just survived the toughest opponents from my past in the Elimination Chamber. So now what? Do I take some time off? Maybe hit the golf course? Rest up and recover? Nah, I don't think so. See, there's one other superstar in WWE who's actually been champion longer than I have. And I've been hearing rumblings for a long time that he deserves what I have, that somehow he's more worthy than me. I'm talking about you, Gunther. I'm ready to quiet all the doubters once again. You think you deserve what I have? Then come and try to take it. Oh my God. It's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse. <gasps> Can I have your autograph? Hey, Geneva. What brings you to these parts? You finally ditching that indie promotion and hitting the big time? Never! TVD is my home. You know I love the blood, sweat, and tears of the indies. WWE is all gloss and glamour. Seriously? I guess you've missed the last couple years of my run here. Jeez, relax. Somebody's lost their sense of humor since they worked for me. Sorry, I'm just a bit on edge with everything that's been going on. You know, if you want to get some extra work in to prepare for Gunther, we've got a TBD show coming up. And we just so happen to have an opening on the card. It would be nice to get some work in to prepare for Imperium. Alright, I guess I can RSVP yes to TBD. What's the ETA? That's the spirit. I'll send you the details. It'll be good working with you again, Geneva.
Now that's what I'm talking about. Top-notch TVD action. That was wrestling at its finest. As the person in the ring, I can assure you, it most definitely was not. No need to be salty. This was a great night. You knew that was going to happen with Imperium, didn't you? You set me up. No. And, frankly, I cannot believe after all we've been through you could accuse me of something like that. Set you up? Me working with Imperium? No. Now, did I think it was a possibility that Imperium could find out you were wrestling for TBD and show up? Yeah. Is that maybe part of the reason I asked you? Sure, but that's not the same thing as setting you up. Look, you got a chance to get work in, and I got a chance to make some dough. So we both win. Did we? I'm starting to remember why I stopped working with you guys. Always looking to make an extra buck. Yeah. Isn't that the whole point? It's a business. And business is going to be good after all the buzz around this. Glad I could help. <laughs> Me too. Over the course of his career, Baron Corbin has worn many hats, had many names, but he's put all of that behind him. He's burned the past and now approaches competition with a ruthless focus. Yeah, forget about all the Corbins you thought you knew. This is a different man, a changed man. Baron Corbin has a new fury to him, an intimidating intensity. 
Corbin seems more than ready to show that off here in this one. Yeah, but you cannot discount the heart of a champion right here. Even though their title is safe, no matter the outcome, the competitive spirit is going to take over and give nothing less than 110%. Oh, the elbow. He reverses it. Running Swanton finds the mark. He's absorbed some damage already. Boom, what a kick. Dodges. And Corbin can't find a way off the blocks. Heavy work being done to Corbin right now. Cover! Two! Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Run right through with the spear. And that can vanquish Corbin. Looking for the victory! Two! It's over, all in a night's work. Here is your winner, Scorpion. And even with this being a non-title match, the mood always changes when a champion enters the arena, don't you think? And whatever you thought about this competitor before they gained their title is old news now. There's a strong chance that this could be a reign that shapes WWE for years to come. Or it could come crashing to a halt. We'll get a better sense of where things are headed tonight. And what about Sheamus? Loves to fight, hit hard, and get hit hard. You know exactly what Sheamus' goal is when he steps inside the square circle. And for that, you kind of have to appreciate him. There's no illusions with Sheamus. A pint in a fight is what he asks for and what he brings. Big Man. forearm. The fight is being taken to Sheamus. Look, Sheamus loves a fight, but he can't be liking this. Fine uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. Running Swanton finds the mark. Springboard misses the target. Ooh, walloped by a huge club. Return fire on the Celtic Warrior. A running Hurricane Rana. He thinks he has it. And he gets the shoulder up before two. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Big forearm. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Uh-oh, this is going to be nasty. There's the power into the... Driven down with a jackhammer. That's got to be it. Two. No, he gets the shoulder up. What do you have to do to put this guy away? No way. Oh, no. A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Thrown back in under the ropes. Sheamus is in crisis mode. For the win! Two! Oh, shoulder up before three. What? How did Sheamus kick out of that? Not quite quitting time yet for the Celtic Warrior. Just dished out his most devastating offense, and you got to be wondering if he's thinking one more time will be the charm. I think we're about to see a masterful pinning combination. Oh, my. Oh, wow. This could be a victory. And that will about do it, folks. Here is your winner, Scorpion the Hero.
match, the WWE Universal Champion is facing off against a tattletale with tall tales and Cameron Grimes. We'll find out if Stitches gets Stitches. Whatever happens in the ring, Cameron Grimes has it coming. You can't expect to play the locker room king like a pawn and get away with it. You do what you have to do. No matter what happens tonight, Grimes is already a winner in my book. Bulldog across the ring. Mistake made by Grimes. Oh, Swanton. Error there. Right to the leg. Great wherewithal on the counter. Kicks to the face. Capped off with a big one. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Oh my gosh. And now there's an opening. He's heading back to the ring. Oh, heel kick. Right on point. Quick reflex is so important in a minute. Uh-oh. Set time. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. Grimes isn't being given any room to recover. Yeah, the rules are coming off the wagon for Grimes here. And a well-executed move we just saw there. by Grimes. But he still has more work to do to get this fully in his favor. Oh, Swanton. Oh, kick. Oh, my God. Moonsault. Ooh. He now just looks helpless to every attack. Yeah, and this has to decrease his composure moving forward. Oh, adios. Can Grimes recover from that? She wrote. Here is your winner, Scorpion. Hey, I know you've been dominating, but looks like you might have an even bigger test coming with Gunther and Imperium. Probably makes sense to get ready for anything. And since there isn't a ton of time, you might as well get ready for everything all at once. How about an extreme rules match against Tommaso Ciampa? It's the perfect way to prepare for that tough battle ahead, you know? There's nothing better than extreme rules where unbridled madness and mayhem reign supreme. There's always a lot of anticipation for a match like this, and as always, with extreme rules, we should expect the unexpected. That seems to be the theme around here. Oof! Well-placed kick. Boom! Oh, what a kick. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. Champa getting dismantled here. But Champa will do anything to get back in this. And it's chin on and up. Senton! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Boom! Stiff kick. Oh, man. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Oof, kick. Finds it. He must have had that scouted. Setting foot in the ring now. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. He wants even more out of his opponent. <laughs> Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Yeah, that one's scouted. Momentum isn't completely out of Champa's side just yet. Yeah, Champa able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command of this match? Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. He's just dominating at this point. Just a steady dose of punishment on display. Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. I don't want to know. That can't be. No, no! Where's Joey Styles when you need him? Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Now into a power bomb. Two. And a kick out at two. Getting dangerous 
awfully close to ending it all there. What a sick thump from that table. Tommaso Ciampa needs to figure out a solution. Ciampa's resiliency is being tested here. I can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. Maybe it's a yard sale. He's back from the top. Elbow drop. Good Lord. Listen, champ, I've been thinking. The ring can turn into a right old brawl. Bodies flying and bones cracking. But there's a glimmer of beauty in that chaos. Now, what if we could take all that pain and fury and put it to good use, eh? A charity submission match where the art of the tap-out meets the heart of raising a few quid for those in need. What you say?
Bold move, challenging the longest reigning intercontinental champion in WWE history. That's who fortune favors, Troy. The bold. I suppose we'll have to see about that. I'm hoping that means you have some good news for me, and Miz has agreed to my request for a match with Gunther. Oh, no. Absolutely not. Miz giving you anything without strings? Could you even imagine? <laughs> no, but I didn't imagine having to deal with you at the airport either. Lucky day for everyone. Gunther could certainly be in the cards, but why rush into it when Miz has so many hand-picked opponents for you? Like Bronson Reed, who you'll be taking on in a non-title match next. You ready to head to the arena? This might be the first time you've ever given me good news, Troy. I can't wait to get Bronson in the ring. My goals reach no higher than the happiness of SmackDown's WWE Universal Champion. Undisputed. You left out a word there, buddy. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion giving a huge opportunity to his opponent tonight. A huge opportunity would be putting the title on the line. That's ridiculous, Corey. The champ has never backed down from a challenge because he's blinded by his ego, Cole. Sooner or later, that's going to catch up to him. Oh. Ooh, stinging kick. Ooh. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Paying it back with their own counter. Oh, that got turned around on Reed. Boom! Set him up for the front oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. And down! Oof. Reed is getting picked apart right now. Yeah, Reed's defensive instincts need to kick in. Oh. Bronson Reed rallying the crowd behind him. Oh. Off the rope to the outside, Tope Con Hilo. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Well scouted reversal there. And Bronson puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Bronson was getting grinded down, but could have just started a quick turnaround here. Neckbreaker! Didn't see it coming! Running Swanton finds the mark. Oh! And Reed moves out of the way. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Hooked him up. And a suplex. He deflects it right back. Oh, round and round we go. Ah, tilt the world head scissors. Oh, swan time. That's gotta be it. Two. And he fights it off. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Flatten. Will Bronson get back up? Cover. The champion with a big win here tonight. Wait, it's Gunther. Oh, man. Here we go. For this champ. 
the Dark Horse called out the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion in history. And the ring general is giving his answer. Gunther getting right in the WWE Universal Champion's face. And our so-called undisputed champs not doing a damn thing about it. Where the hell is he, Troy? Our general manager? He doesn't report to me. Zero interest in small talk, Troy. I want Gunther now. Do you? I mean, he was standing right in front of you and you didn't do anything about it. What are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything, champ. But it's all over social media. I was just reading a post from Roman Reigns that made you look like a joke. All the more reason not to keep stalling. Except there is. Our Intercontinental Champion is very important to the future of SmackDown, and Miz is off making sure that his top superstar is happy. Uh, what now, Troy? What flaming hoop do I have to jump through for Miz to give me what both of us already want? You will be facing the Ring General's top lieutenant, Ludwig Kaiser. If I didn't know any better, I'd say Miz is doing the thing where he tries to wear me down before my next big match. Miz would never... I'm out, Troy. I'll beat Kaiser. Then Miz had better give me Gunther so we can settle this once and for all. I find it interesting that Gunther was so quick to confront the champ last week, but now he sends out his flunky to do the fighting for him. That's why he's the ring general and you're not, Saxton. It's called strategy. Gunther has already seemed to have the tactical advantage as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion is fighting for a chance to face the Intercontinental Champion, which is the opposite of how it usually works. Into a powerbomb! That was a powerbomb with one message in mind. Absolute destruction. And Kaiser didn't find a counter for that. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Great reversal. Able to parry that one. And a kick. And that stops whatever Kaiser intended. Can't quite get him there. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. And Ludwig can't find a way off the blocks. Kaiser is being worked on heavily. Yeah. Into a dragon screw leg whip. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. Into the pin attempt. Two count big kick out. And frustration might be starting to set in. Yeah. Able to get the advantage here. Springboard. Ooh, harsh kick. And running Swanton. Look at that counter from Ludwig. Turns it around. Sole the foot needs the stunt. An imposing array of offense from him here. He's hitting on all cylinders right now. Boom, kick connects. Ooh, devastating kick. The end is looming now. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Springboard moonsault! Wow! And that was a well-targeted attack. Spear! That could end Kaiser right now. Cover! Two! The champ has proven himself. Oh. Imperium attacking the WWE Universal Champion. Did he really think the ring general wouldn't have a plan? This was a trap all along. And the dark horse walked right into it. Score one for Gunther.
Ah, oh, you look like you've been in a car accident, champ. <laughs> Miz wanted me to extend his deepest sympathies. That's not exactly how he phrased it on social media. I can't believe the flowers haven't arrived already. I'll have to put in a call. I just got the hell beaten out of me, Troy, in another one of Miz's traps. You sure you want to be doing this right now? No, no I am not. Gunther and his lackeys jumped me. I want to show them why I'm the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, up close and personal. Then you'll be happy to know that Miz has given you exactly what you want. You'll get your wish when you face Imperium next week in a gauntlet match. There won't be any traps tonight. The WWE Universal Champion gets his hands on Imperium one by one. You say that like it's good for the champ, Saxton. How much of him do you think is going to be left by the time he gets to Gunther? The champ has faced down the odds from night one, Corey. That's why they call him the Dark Horse. A oh, costly error there. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? Oh, oh my goodness! There is nothing but malicious intent when you deal damage out on the apron. Fighting out. Hammering away with punches to the face. Bullseye with the drop kick. Frying their opponent's arm out. Oh my goodness! Oh, Swanton! Oh, oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. And Giovanni's resolve might be wavering here. Vinci's not showing any capacity to fight back. Gets him with the counter. Yeah, his instincts are taking over. That was pretty. Oh, my God. Springboard moonsault. Wow. to come after this entrance. This is awesome. Next into the gauntlet is Ludwig Kaiser. Just look at the WWE Universal Champion. This guy's already hurting and he's only in the second fight of the gauntlet. Of course he's hurting. Vinci wasn't in that first match to win. He was looking... Can that keep Kaiser down? The cover! No, he beats the cat! I don't know how he just kicked out, and I'll tell you what, I don't... Springboard into a... Are you kidding me? Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. And Ludwig can't find a way off the blocks. Kaiser has been worked on heavily. See, he is feeling it now. Running Swanton finds the mark. Elbows to the face, elbows to the temple. Guys are finding a way to slow his opponent's assault down. Ludwig could be turning his fortunes around. And misses on the springboard. Denied via a wicked punch to the stomach. A running hurricane run. Beautiful. And just like that, we kick the tempo up a notch. And Ludwig can't find a way off the blocks. Kaiser is being worked on heavily. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Good defense. You saw that one coming. Time now to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. Big cross body. Is it enough? That pin attempt might have been a tad premature. And that failed to hit the mark. 
Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Oh, there's a response against Kaiser. Nice half kick. Great elevation. He's got his best opportunity right in front of him. Cover. That's all. It's over. He's out. That middle Kaiser connection. couldn't go the distance. Only two competitors left now in this gauntlet. The next Who's ball going to get will the win? win the match? Ilya Dragunov. This isn't who we expected. Where the heck is Gunther? Must be another tactical move by the ring general. I love it. Can the dark horse take down the surprise opponent? What's going on here? Has Ilya Dragunov joined Imperium? He's at least stepped in to replace Gunther tonight in what I assume is an attempt to throw the Dark Horse off his game. What better man to recruit than one you've been to war with? Another incredible chess move by the ring general to punish the champ in this final gauntlet match. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. He was waiting for him to make his move. Oh, into a powerbomb. A powerbomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. Jackhammer! Rope breaks the hold there. plan has failed. Hang on. Got their front ball. Oh, with the Intercontinental title. And the champ is down. It's time for the Age of Imperium. I just got a message from WWE.com. They ran a poll, and the majority of the WWE Universe thinks that it's Gunther's time to rise. Maybe the WWE Universe didn't see me take out two-thirds of Imperium in their hired gun. Or maybe it's that the Age of Imperium has such a nice ring to it. Epic. What do they even call your run, huh? All this time as WWE Universal Champion, has anyone ever actually said it's your era? They don't have to say it. They know. Well, good news! After that gauntlet match, Miz decided that this rivalry has had the proper buildup. So you'll be defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Gunther at Night of Champions in a no disqualification match, just like you wanted. Stacking the deck against me. Must be Friday. I'm calling it now. Tonight is finally the night when we see this fraud of a WWE Universal Championship run come to an end. The champ has stood up against every challenge that has come his way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You both sound like broken records protecting this guy. History has proven that the Dark Horse can overcome. Not Gunther. Not tonight. Oh, boom! A forearm smash! DDT! Spiked him. What's he open to find down there? The challenger eating up some damage. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Oh, into a power bomb. No question after that power bomb, the champ has a strategy to retain. Gunther just can't see batting down the hatches. These two are unloading. Oh. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Ooh. Who will break first? That was the question. And Gunther got turned around there. And well-timed maneuver there. He takes control. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. What a forearm. A running hurricane. That kind of a G 
doing is what earned them the title. Gunther moved at the right time. The champ is going to retain. Makes the cover. Two. A kick out. This puts the pressure back on the champion. Can the champion respond with their back against the wall? All of that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Oh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. Power slam incoming. No. Instead delivers the inverted DDT. Oh, Swanton. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Saw it coming. Standing Spanish flyer. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Popped right in the face. Countered it just in time. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. keep happening how does the wwe universal champion keep surviving impossible odds he just beat the longest reigning intercontinental champion in wwe history and he is on his way to another record now corey roman's record before we introduce our next guest let's set the stage cody rhodes is still the world heavyweight champion on raw providing some stability after a tumultuous period that saw several champions come and go. I don't understand why we do these recaps. Our audience watches the product. Nonetheless, I'll play ball. On SmackDown, after continuing to dominate, the Dark Horse has become the Work Horse, now holding the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for three plus years. Didn't Miz and Roman Reigns think the champion stint would only last three days? And now he's approaching Roman's record-setting run. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why don't we ask Miz about that misguided prediction right now? Please welcome our guests, the SmackDown and Raw general managers, The Miz and William Regal. First of all, I take offense to the accusation that I ever doubted my champion. I know how to pick a horse, and in this case, I was behind the dark horse since day one. That's rubbish. You never wanted him to be champion, and you've done everything in your power to try to put an end to his reign. Don't insult the audience, Mike. They watch the product. That's what I've been saying. You wanna do this, Regal? At least I have a cohesive show. No one can keep track of what's going on on Raw. It's like a freaking middle school play. Guys, come on. How do you even know what's happening on your show? You're too busy or filming episodes of your terrible reality show that no one watches. You just think you're better than me because you've made a living on the myth that you're some kind of technical wrestling genius. Well, I'm here to tell you, no one who matters cares. I agree with some of what you said. I am better than you. That's why they made me the general manager of the A Show. Okay, maybe we take a break, yeah? No, we're not finished here. You think Raw is the A Show? Yes, I do. But we can officially answer that question in the ring at Survivor Series. War Games! Fine, SmackDown will see you and beat you at War Games. You're pathetic. We'll see who's pathetic, mate. Okay, let's get to that break.
I am absolutely done with that overrated, blubbering British buffoon Regal. He thinks Raw is better than SmackDown? Well, at War Games, the blue brand will reign supreme, especially with you as our team captain leading the way. Hold on. Did you just name me SmackDown's team captain? Yeah, why wouldn't I? You're our champion. You've had the title on lockdown for years now. Yeah, despite everything you've done to try to take it from me. I mean, I assumed you were going to pick anyone but me. Where is this coming from? You sound like Regal. I've been Team Dark Horse since the beginning. Man, I am shocked you think I feel that way. Whatever, Miz. Who else do you have to round out our side? I got your old rival Seth Rollins on board. But I figured I'd let you choose your other two teammates. See? Told you I'm on your side. Right. So Seth and two other partners of my choice. I'll see what I can come up with. Great. Make sure you choose carefully, though. Since Raw has all champions and an established faction making up three quarters of their team. But no pressure. You got this. I'm going to get right to the point. You need me for war games. Okay, I'll cut to the chase too. I'm 3-0 against you. So what makes you think you're worthy of being part of Team SmackDown? I've been in two war games matches, which is two more than your zero. And Seth has never been in one either. You need my experience. In fact, you guys should be begging me to join your team. I don't know about all that. And even if I did want you on our team, I don't think there's any way I could trust you. You don't need to trust me. I'll be your hired gun. You tell me who to take out, and I'll get the job done. I'll think about it. No, I meant that literally. Tell me who to take out, and I'll go do it. I shouldn't have to, but if it proves you need me for war games... Okay, fine. But I want you to do this in an actual match, not attacking someone from behind, like you usually do. Whatever, just name an opponent. Let's see what you can do against Drew Gulak. Then we'll talk. Easy. Kevin Owens always has a malicious look in his eye, but tonight I'm seeing an extra violent twinkle. Now, there are rumors that the WWE Universal Champion is looking at Kevin Owens for a possible War Games partner. Kevin is out to prove himself as one of SmackDown's best weapons against Raw. Bro, KO didn't do himself any favors when he picked this opponent. He's got a tough hill to climb to prove himself here tonight. Ooh, a sharp kick. Oh, emphatic shot. And all of Gulak's in-ring knowledge couldn't get him out of harm's way there. He planned for this and could still rally. He moves just in time. Lands a kick to the gut. Oh, what a flying heel kick. Owens on the attack. With no doubt this is a tough spot for Drew Gulak. He finds a counter for Gulak. Ooh. Moved at the right time. He's been placed in the corner now. Paying it right back with a reversal. Look at this, going counter for counter. Oh, what a clothesline! Oh, this is just torturous. Yeah, the death lock applied. Oh, man. Just tap out. Nowhere to go. Oh, the knee just being torn apart now. Uh-oh. Uh and Owen's able to reverse it. 
Oh. Uh oh. He turns it around. Here's the torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. Into a neck breaker. And into the count. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Drew looking to cinch it in. There it is. The Gulak. The Gulak locked in. Gulak's got the Gulak locked in. It's cinched in. I think we're just moments away from seeing a tap out. He's flailing, desperately trying to get out of this situation. Oh, great counter. Kevin Owens with the torture rack. Oh, oh my God. Looking for the victory. There's two. Oh, my Lord. How in the world is he still going? Every kick out taking so much energy to muster. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Now. The cover! Oh, he got him on a win! Here is your winner, Kevin. L.A. Knight requested five minutes here tonight to show the SmackDown War Games team captain just what he's capable of. I think it's a great idea. And now both of these sluggers are going to be throwing haymakers trying to get a fast victory. Let's find out if L.A. Knight nails the audition or fails to get a callback. Springboard moonsault! Wow! Oh, ouch! Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. LA Knight got shown up that time with a stiff attack. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Able to avoid any harm there. Tilt the world head scissors. Ooh, strong oh, kick. My goodness. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. And now Knight is getting beaten down. Knight is going to have to dig down deep here. For the win! Two! And still in this. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Run right through with the spear. That could be curtains for Knight. For the win! Two count! work. Here is your winner, Scorp. Oh, hey there. You here to steal my baked beans? Uh, come again? The baked beans are indeed delicious today, but I'm alluding to the time you stole my show. I didn't forget about that. I didn't steal your show. I just came out with a very similar show and then temporarily got yours canceled. Point is, the baked beans analogy doesn't really hold up. I'm not sure any of that's helping. Look, working with Miz was not the best decision, but I actually wanted to talk to you about how we could possibly put our differences aside against Team Raw. Interesting. You know, much like a stellar baked beans recipe, trust takes time to perfect. And speaking of culinary exploits, Kofi and I have had quite the beef with Pretty Deadly as of late. Isn't Kofi out hurt for a bit? Yes, because of those pesky pretty boys. But that's where you come in. If you can play the part of Kofi for one night, New Day attire and all, then maybe it'll show that we have the right ingredients for future tag team success. 
So a one-night partnership in exchange for you throwing your hat in the ring for war games. I can do that. Excellent. Now let's go get you out of that bean-stained shirt and dressed appropriately. Welcome to the new day. Well, sort of. After a battle over their respective video game shows, it's really nice to see Xavier Woods and the champ getting along. Nothing a WWE superstar does is motivated by pure kindness. There's an ulterior motive here, and it may involve our champion trying to recruit teammates for his World Games match at Survivor Series. If that's the case, Xavier Woods would make a great addition to Team SmackDown if these two can coexist here tonight. And they just bust down an impactful maneuver. Wicked kick to the lower back. Ooh, a sharp kick. And Prince might be a little less of a beauty after that attack. If he's smart, he'll make a tag soon. A break on the apron could help him mitigate this damage. That power bomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Things now not going well for Elton. The homework done on Elton is paying off. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Bam! Boom! So he's gonna do his shoulder breaker. Big knee. And right between the shoulder blades. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Hoist it up. Suplex. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the face. My God. Turns it around on Prince. Out of the way in time. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up this. and driven down with a jackhammer. Oh, man. Is this what it takes to beat Elton?
Here are your winners, Scorpion. What a huge risk the WWE Universal Champ is taking. Putting up his title just for the chance to put Randy Orton on the SmackDown War Games team? It really shows how much the champion cares about SmackDown to take this big of a risk. Or maybe it's just overconfidence. Maybe he doesn't realize what a huge threat Orton is. Hits him with the counter. A running Hurricane Rana. The champ using every tool they have to protect their reign. Oh. Stinging kick. Ooh. And a kick. Ooh. Oh, swan time. The challenger's looking shaken. Oh! Oh, man. Saw it coming and got out of there. Standing Spanish fly. Are you kidding me? Incredible. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. And he was ready for Orton. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Ooh, caught with a knee to the mush. Quick return to the ring. And Tagiri finds its mark. The Viper in bad shape here. Orton's being kept in check. Steering attention to the neck. Mind games in full effect from the Apex Predator. Need of the gut creates separation. A running Hurricane Colorado. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Able to interrupt the attack. Luthez press by Randy Orton. Cover for the championship. He kicks out with force. It's unthinkable. Someone beating the one count at this point. The champ has his one in hand now. Cover. Three, no, two count. Title still on the line. That's how much winning this title means to give everything you've got. I don't know how much you can have left after that, but you've got to be impressed. I think there is still some shock in the air over the fact that that didn't produce a pinfall. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Uh-oh. Saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Springboard moonsault! Wow, bam! Orton's so evasive. The challenger is in some big trouble. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. Randy Orton is slipping, but he still might have an RKO in his back pocket. That's got to be it. We're well into the match, and he still seems so fresh. It's almost unbelievable. Tough as this to be caught in here. Oh, God, face first. Oh, caught that foot by surprise. The champion. Here's the pin time.
They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Well, I hope Stone Cold Steve Austin feels flattered tonight. If the champ can stun Eric Bischoff, Stone Cold Steve Austin will have no choice but to eat his words and join Team SmackDown for War Games. Not a single word you just said makes any sense in the year 2024, but I am here for it. He's lost some of his win now. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Hits him with the counter. Oh, man. Turns that back on Bischoff. Oh, just gouging the face. That's not right. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Hoist it up. Go Buster. Ooh. Oh, man, a little extra luster on that kick. And that definitely made solid impact. Boom. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up this. and... Jackhammer! <laughs> Stone Cold Stunner! It's over! Bischoff's in serious danger. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner. Some great tag team action in stores. The Viking Raiders take on what reports say could be the cornerstone of the SmackDown Survivor Series team. Austin Theory is a talented guy. And if he really wants to contribute to Team SmackDown and not just Team Theory, he would be great to have in War Games. Well, Theory isn't just a talented athlete. He's smart. He knows that if SmackDown is doing well, he's doing well. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Oh, into a power. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Ah, kick. Nasty kick. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, what a kick. A well-timed dodge. A oh, running hurricane around. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Fails to connect on the springboard. He gets tagged in. Running STO plants him. Nicely done. He saw it coming, taking advantage. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, back first. Eric looking to bait his opponent into a mistake. He skirts around it. Forearm! Drop kick to the face. Oh, swanton. Ooh, stiff punch. Stop me in your tracks. Ridiculous.
now a standing shooting star. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. That versatile offense of the Viking Raiders looks stifled there. And he saw that coming from Eric. Uh-oh, this is going to be nasty. There's the power into the... Driven down with a jackhammer. Run right through with the spear. Eric looks out of it. And Ivar with the wherewithal to counter. Oh, man. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. And a shoulder is lifted before one. Truly cannot believe that didn't even get a one count. Run right through with the spear. The opening is there for the taking. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Stops the incoming attack with a knee to the face. Oh, she has bad intentions. Into the cover! Major, major win! That'll change his career!
Miz looks like he has a lot in his mind headed into Survivor Series. Look out from behind. Is that a giant bunny? What the hell? We've seen some strange things in WWE over the years, but a bunny beating up a GM is up there. What did Miz do to deserve this? From behind. Neckbreaker. He knew what was coming there. What a forearm. And Zagiri finds its mark. Kicks to the face. Capped off with a big one. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Ow. He manages to escape it. Expected that one. Oh, God. That might have punctured something. Miz escapes damage. Oh, and a chair shot delivered. He steers clear of contact. Super kick! Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Wow. Oh, into a power bomb. Ducks through, up and over, Selena Del Sol. Ooh. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Oof. Kick finds it. He got Miz here. That was brutal, but it looks like this brawl's over now. Now, can we get some help? You here to spy on me, Troy? No. I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task. To recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done that yet? Actually, Excellent. I have. Ready to lock them in? Once you make this decision, Miz will let corporate know it's official, so you can't change your mind. Besides, we really need to start promoting the participants. And Miz has big plans he wants to kick off for the Build to Survivor Series. I like the group I've assembled. Team SmackDown is ready for war games and whatever else Miz has planned. Good. I'll let the boss know. We're cutting away from Cody Rhodes' title defense because SmackDown superstars have invaded backstage. Is this part of their war games team? Luckily, Luke Gallows is here to back up his partner. Let's get back to ringside as we monitor this developing situation. Cody Rhodes has successfully defended his World Heavyweight Championship, but has no idea what's transpired backstage during this match. Well, he's about to find out now. 
I think this is the debut of SmackDown's War Games team. And what a lineup they've assembled. This doesn't look good for the American Nightmare. He's in trouble. He might not even make it to War Games. And there's their captain, the WWE Universal Champion. Cody Rhodes is surrounded. Hold on. Cody has backup. It's his Survivor Series teammates. Well, at least some of them after Carl Anderson was taken out. This is about to explode. Here we go. Hold on. Not on my bloody show, gentlemen. Save it for war games. Come on, Regal. I wanted to see them fight. Team Raw's side is at a disadvantage. Smart move, if you ask me. Stop it. That's enough. And there it is. And Regal gets nailed by SmackDown's champion. That did not go as planned. You think? William Regal has been a mentor to the so-called Dark Horse, invading Raw was a slap in the face, and now he just took a literal blow from his supposed friend, accidental or not. Well, for now, it looks like Team SmackDown is going to retreat. This didn't break into an all-out war, but they delivered a strong message here tonight. I agree, Corey. We didn't know who would represent the blue brand Survivor Series, and now we know it's going to be an epic battle inside that double-sided cage. I can't wait. We did what Miz asked, and honestly, it didn't turn out that great. I never wanted to assault William Regal. What do you mean? It was must-see TV! Especially the part when you nailed Regal! Good stuff, pal. Whatever. So what does our genius GM have planned next? And where is he even? I haven't seen him anywhere since I got to the building. Well, with, um... Tensions escalating, and who knows how Raw would retaliate. Miz thought it was better if he stayed home this week. So, he ran away again. Got it. Look, what's more important is Regal is sending AJ Styles here for a War Games preview match. And Miz has so much confidence in his team captain that he wants you to decide who should fight Styles. Okay, and you want my decision now? Yes, and Miz also said if you make the wrong call and we lose, then it's completely on you. So choose wisely. Good, I'll let the boss know. After a bit of an invasion on Raw, the phenomenal AJ Styles and his SmackDown opponent are giving us a preview of the upcoming War Games match at Survivor Series. Yeah, these two will compete at Survivor Series, but a singles match can't really reflect the chaos and destruction of War Games. I hear you, Corey, but any good tactician will take any edge they can get to prepare for such a brutal match. Pick the leg. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. Able to evade. Ah, snap there. Fought up an elbow. Oh. Kick lands. Oh. Oof. This match grinded him down a little. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Oh, ouch. Oh, what a kick. Drop kick. to the kidneys. Golly. Boom, kick connects. Look at this, fighting out with a series of... Will create separation. And he's taking this to the outside now. Saving us from having to sit through that. They back up. They're they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. And Styles is taking a lot of offense now. But AJ can't let this flourish derail him. He moved, but 
Can he capitalize? Larian. Styles gets him back. Could be a chance for Styles to change the complexion of this match. Drop kick down low. Unleashed on the knee, and that might drastically slow things down. A running hurricane run. Beautiful. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. AJ with the wherewithal to avoid that. Gets it with the counter. Standing Spanish Flyer, are you kidding me? Incredible. Two! A kick out before three. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Way to steer clear. Wow, what an arm drag. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Yeah, a prime example of Styles proving how undeniable an athlete he truly is. Scissors. Taking this one back to the ring now. Standing Spanish Flyer, are you kidding me? Incredible. Two absolute power. How in the world did he do that? He got whipped into that corner. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. Good timing with that reversal. Flattened. AJ's eyes are glazed over. There's down. Hangs on by a thread. AJ Styles tapping into that pit bull mentality for a nail biter of a kick out. Hey, it might be time for a change of strategy. His best move didn't get the job done. Two. Kaisi put him away. That's a pretty big win. Here is your winner, Scorpion. You know there's no such thing as a brand war, right? We all get our checks from the same place. What? Next thing you're gonna tell me is we weren't actually gonna get married. Seriously, though. I know, I know. You're not wrong. Working with Miz again is the worst. Especially since it all started because Regal hurt his feelings on a talk show. Doesn't take much. <laughs> right? But now it's gotten personal with Cody nailing me with that cheap shot and then everything with Regal. So you can criticize how we got here all you want. But when we step inside those cages, I'm going to make sure my team does whatever it takes to survive. Understood. Well, even though technically we're on opposite sides, mind if I bum a ride to the building? Sure. Anything for my fiancé. That's more like it. The battle lines are drawn. Red versus blue. Raw versus SmackDown. Champions fill out both sides of the battlefield, but who will lead their team to victory? Call me biased, but I think the WWE Universal Champion has put so much work into building the best War Games team possible that I think SmackDown takes it tonight. But can you imagine the chip on the shoulder of Raw Cabin and World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes? It was Cody who was on losing end when the Dark Horse became champion so long ago. Cody can exact some revenge tonight. And Styles is brought to a disadvantage now. AJ's got to find a window to fight back. What a drop kick. A running swanton. Boom. Kick. Wow, running senton. Man, that's...
that's gonna hurt. Ooh. Standing Spanish flyer, are you kidding me? Incredible. Driving a knee into the arm. Uh-oh, this is gonna be nasty. There's the power into the... Driven down with a jackhammer. Counting down the seconds until this match becomes... Adios. AJ is out, that's it. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. And AJ only finds himself on the defensive. Styles being systematically worked on. Enough already. Able to reverse that one. If you're on the opposite side of this entry, you are bracing for a fight. From behind, into an inverted DDT. He was elusive there. AJ evades that one. Seth Rollins gonna put his opponent away. Revolution knee. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. What a reversal from AJ. Just took a very unpleasant trip from ring to ring. Picture perfect drop kick. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Counting down the seconds as this match gets closer to being even. Stump puller leg snap. Very up. Take down. Looking for the cross face. Charging toward the ring and looking to even things up. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of... Looking to free the arm and does just that. See him take yet another shot to the body. Blast off. Boy, oh, European uppercut. Ooh. Ah, oh, perfect kick. Oh, devastating kick. And some effective offense with that one. Well-placed kick. Able to avoid there. Oh, the spear. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. Luke's in serious danger. Oh, getting clubbed by the axe handle. Seth Rock. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. F5! Thunderous! That can certainly do it. Ooh! Stick kick. Ooh! The countdown hurtling towards a shift of a status quo. Strikes with a kick. Ooh! Disregard as he deposits him onto the metal platform. They're on the loose, looking to change the landscape of this match. Officially in the fray. It pays to be coming in and have more friends and foes in the cage. And he has 
to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. Mere seconds away from evening the odds in war games. Look at this. The door swings open and out they come. And they're to here. I think we know what Rollins is thinking now. It's to the corner like that'll render you useless. Rollins just turned the lights out. Using the elbow as a weapon. <laughs> oh, with the fist press, and now here come the bombs. of Roman Reigns. Did the World Heavyweight Champion just prove everyone right? I have a feeling these two will meet again down the line with a lot more at stake. We'll see about that, Michael. Unbelievable. Until then, this is Team Raw and the American Nightmare's Night to stand tall over WWE.
Listen, I know you're dealing with a lot of pressure right now after war games. It's overwhelming. And it can make you forget why you stepped into this business with a heart full of passion. Trust me, I get it. But picture this. A match after hours at TBD when the arena is deserted and all eyes are off you. No obligations to live up to anyone's expectations, no titles to defend, just you and a ring. Pins only. Back to the core of wrestling. This championship run is epic! You must be so stressed. I'm stressed vicariously through you. You know what helps me relax? I like to go on vacation. In my mind. Here's what I'm thinking. Close your eyes, take yourself somewhere exotic, and imagine yourself doing the most exciting thing you can think of. Which, for me, is wrestling. But against someone fun, like, what about Doink the Clown? <laughs> Wanna see where your mind can take you? What are you doing here? Slow down there, Tiger. Don't get hot. This isn't an invasion. Then what are you doing at my show? Do they not have gyms at Raw? I'm here with news. Because I wanted to tell you man to man and not have you read it on social media. 
To think I could have continued to live in blissful ignorance. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but after I beat you at Survivor Series, Miz and Regal are giving the WWE Universe what it wants. You and me, title versus title at the Royal Rumble. That's actually good news. Thanks. Honestly, you could have slid into my DMs to let me know. Miz asked me to come to SmackDown. He made an additional proposition. <laughs> let me guess. The WWE Universal Champion and the World Heavyweight Champion in a tag team match for the first time ever. And it's gonna be awesome. He tell you already? <laughs> Guy learned at the feet of Teddy Long. So what do you say? We obviously both like gold. You ready to team up? You know what? Hell with it. I'm in. I knew you wouldn't resist the opportunity. Go team. Before their champion versus champion clash at the Royal Rumble, we have both title holders attempting to work together in tag team action. Why does this feel like The Miz is still messing with the WWE Universal Champion after all this time? Don't be so obtuse, Saxton. This is just good box office. Miz just knows pizzazz when he sees it. Oof! Staved up that attack. Ooh, hard impact in the corner. From the second rope. Goodness, what a sunset flip. And there is power being curved with that attack. Yeah, Cody definitely did the work on that one. What's she looking for under the ring? Eric able to take a stand there. Yeah, he's able to stop that search. Damn, it's tracks. An overbearing amount of offense against Eric here. Cody's getting that unstoppable look in his eyes. Well placed punch, ugly, but effective response. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Eric gets countered. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal form. Kick! Nasty kick. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Trying to put them away. Able to counter. And a close line counter. That might be what gets him out of... He can do it here. An easy kick out there. Keeping a loss at bay for now. Attacks from the arsenal of Cody Rhodes. But Eric can't allow his burst to hinder him. What are we gonna see now? Oh, and a layout DDT. Turning the tables there. Cody, the crossroads. Eric looks out of it. And Ivar with a wherewithal to counter. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion with another victory. Will you listen to the ovation from these ham and eggers? How can they love this guy so much? Well, like all good Vikings, Eric and Ivar went down swinging, but this result has to sting. Hey, partner. You ready to win some tag team gold? <laughs> partner? I'm your partner now? Wait, what have you been out of shape about now? We've won our match, and now we've got a title opportunity. Which sure is great. I guess I just didn't realize that our team was the dark horse and the show horse. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you spent our whole match out there hogging the spotlight instead of working as a team. I did what was necessary to win. If that's a problem for you? No, no problem. I just see you, Cody. I see you. 
What you need to see is that our next opponents are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and they are not going down without a fight. Don't worry. I'm focused. My eyes are most definitely on the prize. Good. Then maybe the next time we see each other at an airport, we'll be carrying heavier bags. Going into a tag team title match, it's very rare that you feel like the champions are the underdogs, but I think that's the case tonight. You might be right. It is going to be hard to take down two world champions. No way. The Dark Horse and Cody Rhodes are going to be fighting at the Royal Rumble, and I bet they'll get into a fight tonight. You can't beat the real tag team chemistry of our SmackDown tag team champion. Rana. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Huge boot. Underhook applied. Side effect. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Pitch's flame looked like it flickered after that attack. Looking to do it all himself. Just remember to tag your partner in so you can catch your breath and keep up the performance down the stretch. What a forearm. Looks under. He's go behind. German suplex turns the ties. Tags him in. Cody has him up. Delivering the Verna Breaker. In off the tag. Oh, ouch. It's those kind of maneuvers that can threaten a championship tonight. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Now oh, into a power bomb. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Overhead with the German. Uh oh. And that stops what Butch had intended. Got their opponent set up. Oh, oh, drop kick to the back. The champ not in a great place. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Oh, and a reversal. Nice calf kick. Great elevation. Boom. Boom, Butch with a timely counter. One reversal after. Here's a pin for the title. And he is saved by the ropes. And that stops what Butch had intended. Oh, round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. Get to the gut. Sit out, jawbreaker. Eating through a straw for a week. Ridge prevents that from connecting. And for a power slam, steps down. Counted into an inverted DDT. Oh, swan time. Oh my God, dodge right on cue. Regroup after getting knocked around like that. Oh! Back elbow blows that one out. <laughs> Not so fast. Oh, the champion's down. The champion's down. Oh my God, we can have a new champion. And he powers out. That was a long two count there. Shoulders are down. They pulled it off. The WWE Universal Champion and the World Heavyweight Champion are on a collision course for the Royal Rumble. But now they are SmackDown Tag Team Champions together.
That's going to be a lot of hardware for them to carry around. More importantly, this is an alliance that could explode at any moment. Miz is a genius. The WWE Universe definitely approves of the new tag champs. Why wouldn't they? It's not too often you see this kind of star power in the ring at the same time, let alone on the same team. Do it. Hit him. You know you want to. Who are you talking to, Corey? Both of them. I can't stand either one of these guys. These men are now the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and they're on shaky ground at best. How are they going to coexist until the Royal Rumble? I hope they don't. Champ, how you feeling? Much to my surprise, I'm feeling great. I thought Miz was out of his mind teaming us up, but it's worked out pretty damn good. Cheers to that. Another lucky break. Another lucky break. Even when you dole out compliments, you manage to make them patronizing. The word lucky triggers you? I've just been hearing it for a long time. Because you got lucky beating me for the WWE Universal title. All right. Gloves off. Here we go. What would you call it? I had you beat when Roman came in. It's been more than two years, Cody. You, Reigns, Miz, all of you keep talking fluke like I haven't been beating everybody who comes at me. You haven't beaten me. Not until the Rumble, partner. We'll see. For now, we have one more title defense before then. See if you can keep your ego in check long enough that we can win the damn match. Look at all that gold at ringside. The Dark Horse and the American Nightmare seem unbeatable. Not so fast, Saxton. I've heard rumors that the champions have had backstage issues. And typically, those types of things spill over into the ring. Well, we'll have to see how that plays out here tonight. Ooh, stiff kick. Kicks to the face. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. Doling out as much damage as possible. Looking to silence the challenger once and for all. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. And Gables hopes the champ tags. Cody refused it. He's walking out on his partner. Things are getting very interesting as we head toward the Rumble. I'd say so. This just became a handicap match. Wow, what agility. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Kick hits the mark. Oh, man. Oh, kick connects. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Otis is just begging for a fight. Driven down with a jackhammer. Oh, swanton. So much for leveling up. Otis got it taken to him there. Looks like he has the upper hand now. He's bringing a lot of intensity right now. Oh, ooh, stinging kick. Uh. Running it through with the spear. A championship level move. Boom! The champion into the cover. And they stay atop the tag division. Here is your winner. And still. Where the hell is Miz? Ah, uh, uh, Miz is at a very important media promotional event. He hightailed it as soon as Cody jumped off that apron, didn't he? Have you checked your social media? People love the drama between you and Cody. Besides, you guys can fix things up before your next match. There's not going to be a next match because I have had enough of that sanctimonious, entitled SOB. Our run as a team 
it is over so you can have your tag team championship back because I am done. Miz is not going to be happy about this. I don't care. When I beat Cody Rhodes for the heavyweight title at the Royal Rumble, I'll be able to go to any brand I want, any time I want. Miz's control over my career will be finished once and for all. Huh. Your boss is really not going to be happy about that. Before one of the most stacked rumbles in recent history, we have a match stacked with drama. Two champions scoring off, but only one will leave with all the gold. We've seen the WWE Universal Champion go from dark horse to unbeatable phenomena. But the one person who he hasn't really defeated is his opponent, Cody Rhodes. The undisputed part of that title has been disputed since Roman Reigns vacated it. Tonight, that debate could be settled once and for all. Oh, from behind, that'll give you some whiplash. The hit's adding up a little on the champ. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Ruthless. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Running swanton, awesome. Boom! Catches the kick. Dragon screw. Rhodes letting his opponent know who's in charge. Climbs back inside. Using the ropes. Big forearm. Hooks from behind. Picked up and driven into the mat. It's over. Boom, what impact. Oh, turn down the lights, kick everybody out. Curtain call. How's that for a counter? Spear! Kick right on point. Some hard offense landing on the champ. This is where it... I think the champ's got it. Makes the cover. That's it. The champ stays the champ. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your undisputed WWE Universal and World Heavy Champion, Scorpion Sun Zero. He did it. You're looking at the man who is now the undisputed. WWE Universal Champion and World Heavyweight Champion. After defeating Cody Rhodes to hold all the gold, he's also now just a few months away from breaking Roman Reigns' Universal title record. A lot can happen in a few months. Good to see you, champ. Congratulations on your big win against Cody at the Rumble. Huh. Feels good to finally quiet the critics. Indeed. And good to have you back here on Raw 2. Although last time you visited, it ended with me sporting a black eye. Ah, it was a heated moment and you got caught in the crossfire. Sorry about that. We good? I've been in this business for 40 years. If I cut ties with everyone who's punched me in the face, I'd have no friends. I'm glad we can move past that and focus on what's next. Don't you mean, who's next? Since you're holding all the gold, you'll be facing the winner of last night's Royal Rumble match. 
Montez Ford. I've been wanting to mix it up with him for years. WrestleMania is going to be huge when I tear the house down with Ford. And tie Roman's record. Well, we're going to give the WWE Universe a preview of WrestleMania when you and Montez have a little chat in the ring tonight. Let's do this. The newly crowned double champion is here on Raw to kick off the road to WrestleMania. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you the undisputed WWE Universal World Heavyweight Champion. That's quite a mouthful, champ. I agree. Maybe we'll just call him the undisputed champion from now on. Well, hello there. <laughs> it's pretty damn cool to be back where I started, but on a whole different level. Speaking of reaching a whole new level, I'm not the only guy who had a good night at the Royal Rumble. See, there's a man who's got a WrestleMania main event to cash in. A superstar who's ready to make the leap. Honestly, he reminds me a bit of myself from a few years back. <laughs> so let me introduce you to this year's winner of the Royal Rumble match, Montez Ford! Oh, we're gonna see it now. The two biggest dogs in the yard are gonna face off. Both these men look ready to go. Well, they're gonna have to wait until WrestleMania. It's a mutual respect between Ford and the champion. What's this? It's not the best time for technical difficulties. It's Roman Reigns. This guy will not let our champion celebrate a single moment. Undisputed, huh? Look at you, peacocking around like you mean something. That title you took from Cody at the Rumble? They made it up because nobody could beat me. I am so tired of hearing people compare you to me. Are you so deluded that you really think I would let a pretender like you time my record with the universal title? Nah. Mm -mm. Come on. You shouldn't even be there. Montez Ford! You're a young man with a bright future. And I'm sorry to say this, but you're not the guy I can count on to beat this clown at Mania. So there's been a change of plans. See? What I did is I took a big briefcase full of my Hollywood money, flew in my private jet out to the woods of Minnesota, and I hired myself a hunter who knows a little something about ending streaks at Mania. Hope it was fun while it lasted. Shame. What? The Beast is back! Montez Ford isn't gonna roll over for anyone. Here we go! F5 on the stage from Brock! Ford is hurt. Here comes the champion. No, Solo Sokoa. Has the bloodline reunited? It certainly looks that way. Brock Lesnar just broke Ford's arm. Regal trying to restore Solo. Stereo super kicks right to the GM's jaw. No, they have to stop. Regal's not a competitor anymore. Look 
Welcome to Suplex City, champ. Montez Ford is down. Regal is down. Dark Horse is down. Who can stop Brock Lesnar and the Bloodline? The reunited Bloodline and Brock are working together to break the undisputed champion before he can make it to WrestleMania. And the champ can't do a damn thing about it. Isn't this great? Roman's brilliant plan put Regal in the hospital. So there's no debate now. Who's the best GM in WWE? It's me! You are the picture of class, Miz. I have exactly zero patience for you or any of this. I want the bloodline, and I want them now. I am generally not in the give the dark horse what he wants business. But in this case, I cannot wait to see Brock and the Bloodline break you and your big dreams of beating Roman's record at Mania. Hmm. <laughs> You're gonna be disappointed. You don't even sound sure yourself, but whatever. You wanna get the hell kicked out of you on the way to Mania? Who am I to stop the fun? Hey, I hear you're going after the Bloodline after what they did to you and Regal. I am. They're gonna get what's coming to them. Nobody knows the Bloodline better than I do. I know your story, Sammy. You don't. You only know what you saw on TV. Let me help you take them down. Sammy, I appreciate that. I do. But this is something I have to do on my own. Look, I tried to take out the Bloodline alone and it didn't work. You need backup. I owe my career to Regal. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for him having faith in me when nobody else did. And then the bloodline tore him apart while I did nothing. Nothing. I hear you, but I'm telling you, you're making a mistake trying to do this alone. We haven't even talked about the fact that they have Brock Lesnar now. I don't have time for any of this. I'm done talking. I'm taking down the bloodline. Now. Well, I tried. Good luck, champ. You're gonna need it. With the bloodline reunited and stronger than ever, you can see the confidence in Solo Sokoa. It's the undisputed champ! He's taking a big risk if you ask me. This is our undisputed champion attacking Solo in the parking lot? What has the Bloodline been up to for the past few years? This is a small taste of their own medicine. The champ better finish what he started here because what you don't want is an angry Solo Sokoa coming after you. Oof, devastating kick. Measured knee drop. The champion with a hard strike. But here come the Usos. You attack one member of the bloodline, you attack them all. This could be a repeat of what happened when they reunited. And Solo with the spike. And now they're sending him up for something else. Right into the side of that car. He might be joining Regal and Montez Ford on the IR when this is over. What is Jey Uso directing them to do? It looks like the champ's about to go for a ride. Shades of the shield. No, not this. Down onto the car. The champ bit off more than he could chew. And this guy isn't even going to make it to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. For the second time, the newly reformed bloodline has left our undisputed champion lying.
That didn't turn out so well. <sighs> yeah, maybe you were right. There is no taking the bloodline out one at a time. There's only taking them all out in a single blow with even numbers. The Usos have a match tonight. I should strike afterwards when they least expect it. Or, should I say, we. You in? Yep, but knowing how they operate, we're gonna need one more guy. You got someone in mind? I do. Let's do this. Another big win for the Usos. These guys have been on a roll ever since the Bloodline reunited. Wait, wait, it's the champ and Sami Zayn. We know his history with the Bloodline. And they're taking it to the Usos. The sides have been even up, at least for now. Sami Zayn and the Undisputed Champion are getting after the Usos, sending a direct message to Roman Reigns. Actions speak louder than words, Cole, and the champ is speaking loudly by taking the bloodline head on like this. After what happened in the parking lot the last time the champion went after him, he was smart to bring their old rival. Sa this isn't a match, it's just a fight. Hard strikes from the champ. But here comes Solo Sikoa. So much for evening the odds. The bloodline now is a three on two advantage. Not anymore. The champ and his little buddies walked the bloodline right into a trap. Sammy sends Jey Uso over the top. And there yeah. goes Jimmy. What a shot to Solo Sokoa. He got knocked right out of the ring. They jump the bloodline from behind and then they act like they won some kind of fair fight. As soon as the sides were even, the bloodline ran for the hills. It's called a strategic retreat, Cole. The balance of power just shifted on the road to WrestleMania. You must be feeling pretty good about yourself after outsmarting the bloodline. Well, you get to keep riding that high because I have some good news for you. That would be a first. Miz has made a match. You and your two self-destructive brothers in arms are going to take on the bloodline in a no disqualification six man tornado tag match. Oh, you managed to get that out without looking at the note on your hand. Good job, Troy. We accept. Before we get to WrestleMania, the undisputed champion and his allies take on the Reform Bloodline in a six-man tag team match. These two sides have had some vicious battles as of late, and now they're going to settle it in the ring. Nothing will truly be settled until our champion faces the beast Brock Lesnar at Mania. Then we'll see who truly comes out on top. From behind. And Jay is channeling the energy of this crowd. So fast, Hurricanrana. It's incredible, the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Power drop kick. It goes without saying that there's a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. He's been placed in the corner now. Face for the turnbuckle. There it is. And Jacoba's bad mood could only turn worse after that. Jimmy gets intercepted. Oh, what a headbutt. He just barely dodges. Into a dragon scream changer. He takes control. Mr. 
realistic thinking on that kill attempt. Stop in the leg. Setting him up for the flat line. Man, face first. of these guys. That's not arrogance, Corey. That's pride. These guys are going to have a lot of explaining to do when the head of the table calls them into the next board meeting. Roman cannot be happy right now. from Brock. At least he dropped the chair. No, 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 no. F5 out of the steel chair. The undisputed champion is hurt. What kind of shape is he going to be in this Saturday at WrestleMania? Reigns' plan didn't fail after all. We forgot about his newest associate. Roman's record is secure. All hail our next undisputed champion, Brock. Lesnar. The walking wounded have arrived. I'm honestly surprised you made it, after what Brock did to you and your friends last week. Three plus years, Miz. I'd think you would have learned about doubting me by now. Tonight? Those doubts finally come true. I tried to warn you years ago that this would end in tears. That you would come this close in getting out of Roman's shadow and failed at the finish line is going to eat you up for the rest of your life. You know the definition of insanity, right? Repeating the same action again and again, expecting different results. So what? So that's you underestimating me and having it blow up in your face every time. Not this time. Not against Brock. Oh. I'm gonna paint you a picture. I keep my titles tonight, tying Roman's universal record. Then tomorrow, I watch night two of Mania with my feet up in a skybox as the clock strikes midnight and I beat Roman's record. No! Yes, Miz. Yes. And then... On SmackDown, you are going to have the honor of introducing me as the longest reigning Universal Champion in WWE history. I guarantee you that will not happen. One day, one more day, and the undisputed champion goes in the history books tying Roman Reigns' title run. One day? I thought you meant that the champ has one more day on Earth. After all, he is running head-on into a buzzsaw named Brock Lesnar. 
Brock Lesnar is no stranger to beating streaks at WrestleMania. Will the champion reign supreme and make history? Or will the Beast devour another opponent, cutting short their glory on the grandest stage of them all? Oh, man. Fucking uppercut. Well caught from teeth. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Escape just in time. And he's able to reverse. With the reversal. Big kick. Hoist it up. Ooh, right across the solar plexus. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. A surprising lack of brutality from Lesnar there. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. The foot DDT! Lesnar gets out of the way. Calf kick right on point. Bam! Boom, what a kick. This match is spilled out to the ringside area, and as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Continuing to dismantle their opponent. Everything working against Lesnar now. Lesnar needs to reassess his strategy. Getting back into the ring. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. He beats the count and this one continues. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. Champ will stay champ. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Is it enough? The cover. Two. He's done it. He's done it. By the end of WrestleMania weekend, the undisputed champion will have tied Roman Reigns' record setting reign with the WWE Universal title. I can't believe it. It's about time you started to believe. Not this. Roman Reigns interrupting the champion's moment again at WrestleMania. You know what, Roman? I don't want to hear it. You've been doing this for three years now. Instead of, what is it you're doing? Celebrity guest host on some game show? Shilling your new NFT? Or maybe... Just maybe, you're filming another cameo in a failing sequel. Don't know what to say without a script? I'll help you out. The only table you're the head of anymore is the one that Rock brushes his crumbs onto. I'm here. I'm doing the work. And the only thing... I'm sure you got a lot to say, but... It doesn't matter. When you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Roman Reigns! After years away in Hollywood, the head of the table is back! The entire WWE Universe is in shock! Unbelievable. Hope you're not too busy tomorrow night, champ. Because the landlord is back. And rent is due. Do we have a new WWE Universal Championship match set for night two of WrestleMania? This is unprecedented.
The undisputed champ might as well kiss breaking Roman's record goodbye. Kayla, night one of WrestleMania was an incredible experience, but all of the focus now is on what happened after the undisputed champion defeated Brock Lesnar. That's right, Byron. Roman Reigns made a shocking return by laying out the champion right after his successful main event defense. The dark horse slayed the beast, but immediately fell to the head of the table. Roman Reigns then issued a challenge for tonight. And the undisputed champ accepted. For the first time in WrestleMania history, one superstar will be main eventing both nights. In addition to Charlotte Flair's huge women's world championship defense against Gigi Dolan, the WWE Universal title will be on the line. The undisputed champ will defend against Roman Reigns, who stated that his only interest is taking back his Universal title. At midnight tonight, whichever man wins will walk out the longest reigning WWE Universal Champion in history. Get ready for history to be made on night two of WrestleMania. You made it. I told you. I wouldn't miss this for the world. How are you feeling? You ready? You know, I've been getting the hell beat out of me for days. My ribs ache so bad it hurts to breathe, and you know, knowing Miz, I'm sure I'll have something up his sleeve. Typical Sunday night, then? Pretty much. I'd give you the full Churchill, but I don't think you need inspirational speeches anymore. No? You're a champion. Twice over. You've more than fulfilled your potential. So I'll save the pretty words for the next kid coming up. Thanks, Regal. For everything. Congratulations, champ. Thanks. I said I was gonna go to Raw and win their title, and that's what I did. And now it's your turn to deliver. You want out of Roman shadow? This is the moment. I feel like hell, but I'll make it. I think I'm the only person who believes I'm gonna win, but... Oh, stop with that. What? Nobody believes in me. Everyone thinks Roman's gonna win, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, it's exhausting. Wow. Stiff. Seriously, how are you still dealing with imposter syndrome after three plus years as champion? I mean, I guess I just... You're so used to people doubting you that you won't let them believe in you. Woods, Rollins, Rhodes, Lesnar, you beat everyone who came for that belt, while Roman, holy art thou reigns, was sipping organic smoothies in an air-conditioned trailer. <laughs> I'm right, though. You might not feel like it, but you're not the dark horse anymore. You're the... the horse that people expect to win. The favorite? That's right. You're the favorite. So go out there and prove all of us right. Let's go.
The history of WWE will be changed forever tonight. With Roman Reigns shocking WrestleMania return, we will find out who is the greatest champion of all time. This book won't be written by history scholars. It will be written by the battle of wills between two of the best competitors in the modern era. Roman Reigns helped create this title run. Tonight, we'll... From the middle rope, breathtaking Hurricane Rana. The champion clearly doing whatever it takes to retain their title here. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Wrapped off with a big one. The champ isn't backing off, bringing the lightning and thunder with every single strike. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. The challenger eating up some damage. Dodges out of the way. Reigns now losing ground. Roman has to wake up. Irish whip. Reigns reverses. Spear! Spear! The undisputed champion hit Reigns with his own move. Hold on. Roman's got a hold of the champion. Reigns has locked in a guillotine submission. What is Miz doing out here? He's calling for the bell. Miz must have heard the champ give up. This is Montreal all over again. No. Not tonight, Miz. SmackDown's GM is out cold. Call off the match and get help for the Miz. Reigns on the move, guys. And Roman, but the champ moved. Reigns just broke one of our producers in half. I never liked that guy. Miz's last ditch attempt to screw the dark horse out of the WWE Universal Championship has ended in carnage. It looks like this war will continue. Ah, oh, caught on the chin. Nap time on the island of relevancy. Oh, this one's over. Tap out coming. Fend off what must have been a grueling submission. Oh, and a spear! Rumbling through with the spear. The champions need to finish the job. Cover! Two! Kick out, still has hope. This puts the pressure back on the champion. Can the champion respond with their back against the wall? It must be demoralizing knowing you've unleashed your best shot on your opponent to no avail. And a carefully measured knee drop. DDT. A rope step to make on Hilo. A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. Oh, this fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Reigns is getting dismantled here. The homework done on Roman is paying off. Teeth. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the face. My God. Reigns turns that around. Finally, Roman's able to interrupt the and attack for the championship. And the champ beats the count early. Wow. been shattered it's a new day and a new record i cannot believe it it seemed like this day would never come i don't think roman can believe it either the whole wwe universe is in shock despite all the champion's accomplishments there were still doubters that he could pull this off myself included i just want to soak this in this is history right here
Wait, what's this? Roman Reigns about to head to the back, but now he's stopped. Is the head of the table about to finally acknowledge the undisputed champion? No, no. Look at Roman's face, Cole. The champion has not seen the last of him. Maybe not. But tonight is not about Roman Reigns. Tonight is about our record-breaking undisputed champion. He doesn't want or need Reigns' approval because he just beat him in the middle of the ring. That's right, Corey. Maybe it's time for you to acknowledge the dark horse after all these years. Agreeing with you is like biting a lemon, Saxton. But WrestleMania is all about moments. And even I have to admit that this guy, well, what he's done tonight is incredible. The champion has stepped out of Roman Reigns' shadow. He's overcome Miz's attempt to steal the title. He overcame years of obstacles. And tonight, he became a legend. For Byron Saxton, Corey Graves, I'm Michael Cole. And this is the end of WrestleMania and the beginning of a new era.